Hi everybody, this is Oz, Will Schoonover, the development manager at Privateer Press, with Doug Seacat, one of our writers. That's right. And we are doing a weekly Rumble Company of Iron game today. My army is the Tharn Blood Pack with the Argus Moonhound. They're trying to defend their encampment from Doug. Looks and like you stole this encampment. I, 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 I came into some land that the <laughs> sure. trolls might have been pushed off of. Okay. Yeah. And what is your army today? Uh, I've got some mercenaries, got some Rulik mercenaries uh, led by Thor Steinhammer. Uh, we've got Hearn and John and some uh, High Shield Gun Corps. Um, I think I'm probably on the way to a job. Probably yeah. took a shortcut through mm -hmm. the wrong place and uh, now we've run into some, some Tharn. And so I guess the scenario we're playing today is scenario two from the very first No Quarter Prime. Right. This is Seek and Destroy. Those scenarios, the three of them in that magazine, were a mini campaign where the results of one game would influence the next game. So in this one, we've randomized how many tokens I have on my supply caches. Okay. But normally when you're playing this, we would have played the first game to determine how many supplies I got back to my camp. Right. And then you'd be chasing me. What? So you think you, you probably stole some stuff from my guys. I, I might have stole some things from your guys. <laughs> okay. Yes. I might have... Uh, maybe mugged Hearn and John for some of those sure. sweet, sweet boxes. <laughs> some ammo crates. Yeah. What, what are your Tharn going to do with them? Are you going to try to shoot some, uh, shoot some Dukes and Hazard I'm sure there's like or hot or dogs in there some or something. Dogs. Yeah, so, sure. In this scenario, it's attacker defender. So Doug is the attacker and Doug has priority. He's going to go first. Right. And all I have to do is I have to keep these two objectives alive. Right. And Doug can take tokens off of them, which are their hit points, by making melee attacks against them. That's right. That's right. And uh, and, and what is our... Uh, we've got a little flag There's the a, a special bonus for the attacker to encourage him to come forward. If you do a mission action while base-to-base -base with the flag, it flips to the light side. Right. And at the beginning of every round, you get plus one hand size if the flag is on the light side. Okay. But yeah, I have a feeling you're going to be across that table pretty fast. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know about getting near them. I want to stay kind of close to my uh, stuff I have to okay. defend, but I am way faster than you, so I should be able to dance around <laughs> All right. quite a bit. We'll see how this goes. That's an intimidating looking force you have there. So what do you want to do first? All right, let's, uh, let's just uh, get going here. Have... So you've chosen Mission Specialist, yes. which lets you get a bonus to, to flipping this over because a guy could run up and do it. Right. I've chosen Bounty Hunter, which is one of the two commander upgrades in the Feast of the Fallen League kit. Okay. So my leader gets prey, and he's going to choose his prey to be the high shields. Okay. Because that is a wealth of targets. Absolutely. But I can switch that once without killing all those high shields if I really need to kill Thor or Hearn or somebody else more important later. <laughs> right. Okay, it sounds good. Uh, it, it, I haven't had, had a chance to play a whole lot, so I'm, I'm probably going to be needing yeah. a little bit of guidance from you on, uh, on what don't we're doing. Don't worry. I've taught many people how to do <laughs> sure. this. And when I'm not playing, I'm on the mic where John Swinkles, uh, one of our marketing guys, is at right now, correcting right. people from doing things wrong, well, which sure. people always do. Uh, people appreciate yeah. being corrected. Except when Oz does it wrong, then it's called still in development. Eh. Still he wins in development. We are, yeah. not, we are not playtesting any <laughs> concepts. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way with Doug, because even as Hungerford <laughs> pointed out, he's the one that narrates this well, game. Yeah, yeah. They make up yeah. some yeah. nonsense. So, yeah, it, it, he, could, he determines the outcome. <laughs> Sadly, mm -hmm. that doesn't affect die rolls, but you know. Yeah, the die rolls are the die rolls. Die rolls are die rolls. I hope that we can uh, beat Hungerford's streak of ones in a row. What was it, like five ones in a row or something crazy? <laughs> so Hungerford, we'll how happens. bad are you at this game? How many was it? <laughs> he, oh, he's, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he, is, he is present. All right. Uh, and Zach, Zach wants you to win. Oh, so good. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see uh, what happens, I'm Zach. hoping your dice betray you like uh, they, like they, they often the do. <laughs> All yeah. right. So, so uh, how do we start off here? So you, you have to, priority. I get to go first. Because you are the attacker. You, right. You do one model and then All right. I'm everything just gonna, goes from there. I'm going to move Hearn up a little bit. Okay, Hearn, I'm guessing Hearn's trying to... He's just getting in so position. You can shoot me better. Yeah, it's going to be a little large, weird with Hearn and John. Large since we, cannon. We activate uh, separately, but um, right now it doesn't matter too much. I don't think you can shoot me in the face yet. Okay, and you have how many guys in your army? Ten. Ten? And I have seven, so I have a couple of passes. Okay. So I'm going to pass this first time. Okay. I will go ahead and move on up with John. Just trying to get in position. I'm going to pass again. Okay. Um, yeah. Just move, move a little dwarf fella up. He's going to um, activate uh, 
uh, the shield wall. Okay. And that's it. So now I have to do something. Yes. And we will start by having one of my blood pack guys run over here behind Freaky. one of our standing stones. I don't like that. All right. Hmm. Well, I might as well just keep my little train of dwarves shuffling along, hoping you get in gun range. Tony Noon asks, are the cards and rules only available from the Privateer Press store, or can he order them from his LGS? So you can get the cards and everything else in the core set at your LGS. Mm -hmm. You can buy them from the website of, of PrivateerPress.com, mm -hmm. or you can go on to DriveThruRPG, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. And buy a print-on-demand deck yep. of the command cards and commander upgrades that are in the base game. There are extra commander upgrades, and those are given out at conventions and league kits and other things. And Many of which will go to your game store. And some of which will go to your game store, the league kits especially. And then six months after those hit the street, physically, we're adding them to the War Room. So Master go. of Coin is the very first one we gave out a couple of months ago now. And that one will be in War Room soon. And then they'll just roll out slowly to let those people that, that got a physical copy in their hand be a little bit more exclusive for a little while. All right. Hmm. Is your turn, sir? It is my turn. I don't. I, I don't have as much cover as I would like to have. <laughs> this guy's gonna run up behind this. That's this a good spot. Rock wall. My rule folk are amazed at, at the speed of your movements. Uh huh. Well, my guys are twice as tall as you guys. <laughs> they are really so tall. They got a lot of big old giant bows. All right. I'm just gonna move up Thor behind this rock. Yeah, the arrows they fire are are at least dwarf size. <laughs> yeah, it's like a ballista weapon. A little bit bigger. All right. And your leader is the, the one with the, the ears. Yes, the my leader ears. is the guy who has uh, bunny-like appendages on his helmet. He's channeling the spirit of the mm -hmm. rabbit. Ate his heart. The spirit of the rabbit makes you faster. <laughs> sure. Everyone, everyone sure. knows that. Yeah. So this guy is going to run. And that is six to there. Man, that is a lot of movement. And that is four. And then he's going to peek around this. Get some cover. Okay. All right. I'm uh, wondering how long it's going to take the chat until they start asking lore questions. <laughs> hey, <laughs> once they like realize it. that, wait a minute, that's Doug Sea Cat. Two right. dragons poop. I'm going to have my, my little Jack run. Oh, so somebody wants you to win. Um, <laughs> it, I'm going to butcher your name, but it looks like Pobos to me. Uh huh. Uh, he would he would like to cheer for you, but he's a circle player. Oh, it sure. looks like so. He's going to have to be on my side I like today. the circle, too. This is a conflicted situation. Yeah, you almost played circle. Yeah, I, I play circle, uh, circle, Signar, and Mercs. But yeah. Mercs, the, the rule folk, is where I started. Mm -hmm. uh, Gorton Grunback is my first caster. I think Thor's on his way to help out Gorton, and you're, you're going to murder him. I can feel it coming. I'm going I'm to try. <laughs> we'll see. So, I, I can't quite take a pot shot at your, at your Warjack. Good. This guy's just going to come up here and wait stealthily, not that he has stealth, <laughs> by that pillar. Okay. I'll just keep moving my little little dwarf friends. All in a row with the shield wall going. I'm going to run. My, my my moon hound is near my leader, okay. so he's in his command range, and Beast Warden works exactly like Jack Marshall for most purposes. So he is going to use the hurry benefit to run up behind this wall. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. He uh, he doesn't do very much for this army. <laughs> Just realize but, I haven't looked at the cards. But he does have a lot of attacks he usually misses. Right. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to get much use out of my cards yet. Let's go ahead and now I'm going to run into some traffic problems. You're still too far away, though. That is that. I'm also in shield wall. Yep. So I think my leader will just come over here to stay close enough to the dog, but far enough away from your guns. All right, I'm just and anybody joining us that missed the intro that doesn't recognize this scenario, it's because it's from No Quarter Prime number one. No Quarter Prime number three comes out in January. You can still get a copy shipped to you if you subscribe up until December 21st, which is the number that someone gave me that I haven't forgotten yet. I'll, I'll, I'll ask John like Good an job. hour from now. Yeah. What day was that? <laughs> December 21st. Yeah. 
Subscribe that at issue at privateerpress.com or at your local game store. Yeah, that issue has something special in it because the first two No Quarter Primes had many campaigns. They had link scenarios that were two armies specifically fighting and, and getting different results based on how they played the last one. Right. The January issue has three multiplayer scenarios that are played on a 4x4 four four with three or four players. Okay. So there's a King of the Hill, there's a Monster Hunt, and there's a Mysterious Ruins one. I see. And also, we've been including new models to put in your armies in all those No Quarter articles. So the January one is Warlock and Warcaster attachments that now become Commander attachments. Right. So if you want your Signarin guy to run around with a Squire that basically has a loudspeaker so people can hear his <laughs> commands better, right. then you can do that. Yeah. What would the squire do on its own? Like, like uh, not, much. not much. He <laughs> provides support. He gives you an extra card every yeah. once in a while, and he has a loudspeaker that makes your commands go farther. <laughs> okay, well that's. He good. has no weapons, but he can't pick up boxes because right. he has a magnet or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Magno fist. He's got to be able to, yeah, maybe just moves things around, bumping into him. He can. He can push things. <laughs> uh, I think this last guy will just sidle up here. Okay. Doing getting ready. Doing nothing. Right. I could have passed, but I don't think it matters that much. No, we're, right we're almost done. So you just move your last two guys. Yeah, shield wall. Getting a little cramped over here. All okay, right. so the round is over. Yep. We can discard any cards we want. All mm. right, still getting I'm used to the cards. I'm not going to discard any. <laughs> you like them all? Doug, can dwarves even get cramped? Don't they live in like caves <laughs> and stuff like that? Like, well, sometimes aren't they, they do. That. You quarters? know, it's a stereotype. Some, some dwarves live above the ground. There's towers, rural Cramp folk. towers, <laughs> Cramp towers. No, they make they make large places because they live with ogren. Like so, you know, they got to have like tall doors, chairs that are big enough for ogren. You don't want to invite an ogren over and have no place uh, for them to sit down. <laughs> I think Fair. I'm going to keep my cards. Okay. So now we're going to roll for priority. Okay. So and I'll get, roll the red die and you roll a black die. And I get a plus one. And you get my, a plus one because of mission special. I'm a mission special. I roll a six. Oh, yes. You roll a seven. I win. Okay. So you are going first. Cool. Again. All right. So this so. is round two. We will mark that with our round tracker. All right. Let we are playing see. to five rounds. If I can manage to hold off Doug and keep <laughs> one objective alive on the table till the end of the fifth round no. and still have my own models on the table. Because uh -huh. it is a tie if you kill all my models but don't take off the objectives. <laughs> right. All right. I think, even though it's mostly for melee stuff, I'm going to spend defensive positions, get a little defense bonus if you get into melee with anybody. Okay. And Does that one affect everybody in your commander's command range? Yes. And Thor is your commander and he has... Oh, it says, while base to base with one or more friendly models, okay. you get a plus two defense. Okay. So it might not actually come up this round, but you know. You well, but know. you'll be in shield wall, so that'll more than likely you'll be, you'll be in shield and wall. And your guys can assault, right? And my guys can assault, so they can run up so that could and happen. punch you with their bow spikes. <laughs> right. All right. So I kind of feel like I need to get a spray off from my little little gun bunny while I can. Travis is asking, why does no one from Privateer play Cricks for Company of Iron on these streams? That, that's and a good the, question. the short answer is, I'm working on it. We, yes, <laughs> we, are, we are rolling around on all of the factions. Like, I, I have, I'm playing this army primarily today because I haven't played it yet on the stream, and I painted it for Attack X a couple of months ago. But now that it's played on the stream, I'm going to move on to Legion. Sure. I haven't decided which Legion. I comped like five different Legion armies. <laughs> or I'll play my. Troll Actor, Troll Impaler, and Whelps team. Do that that's, one. That's a which, list. Do that one. Which is the dumbest list. But that <laughs> sounds amazing. It probably doesn't work, but I can I paint like it, it fast. So I think it's going to be, I like think it's gonna be better than you on think. Their day out, mm -hmm. like just going out and having fun. With the trick is the Whelps are in charge. <laughs> the so shenanigans, in charge, sure, yeah. shenanigans happen. Who left the Whelps in charge? As, as, as the marketing team, Oop, I, I should get rid of all I my demand that that be what happens. That... That's more than likely the next one I'm going to do because it is only seven models and five of them are whelps. But I also <laughs> really want to do a grotesque army, which is just grotesques, and I want to do some other things. I've got a Kralix that I still haven't done anything with. He's still sitting on my paint desk staring at me in bare metal. So eventually, I might have a Kralix army. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to. But I also recently did some steelheads. Uh, Getz and I might be racing to do the Steelhead Company of Iron because mm. he comp he got a copy of, of Sergeant Nick and some Steelhead rifles and halberdiers and some other model. And I did the same thing, but I got Orin Midwinter because my Steelheads are working for Orin Midwinter. Getz's Steelheads are working for somebody else. 
And David asked, uh, what was the delay on the My Company of Iron contest announcing winners? He, he posited that there were too many good choices. David, you're actually correct. Yeah. There were actually a ton of really good ones. Uh, we winnowed it down a little bit, and we're that hoping to right. announce a winner next Sad. week. Yeah. Yesterday, I opened all of the things in tabs and then got pulled away from my desk constantly all day long. So I, I have not submitted my vote. You ready to take some damage? I have some strong favorites. Oh, no. You're going to spray my dog? <laughs> yeah, I'm spraying your dog. Okay. The my angle. dog has defense 14, I believe. Let me check. All right. War room real quick. He does. He has defense 14. Ouch. Um, and he's behind a wall, but sprays ignore cover. So I need an eight. So you need an eight. But we're boosting. And you uh, are using your, if you have a thing that would spin focus, you can yes. do it for free as long as you're in your Jack Marshall's command range. So I get to boost both my attack and damage rolls. Mm -hmm. So just miss real bad. So uh, that is just what I needed to hit you. Is an eight. Mm -hmm. And your armor get is? My armor is also 14. And you're okay. a POW 12? POW 10. Oh, POW 10. So you're so four off. Dice office. minus four. So don't hurt me, Doug. Okay, oh, so five, five damage. damage. Yeah. To where? Uh, yeah, that would be a good thing. To five the five. To the five. Yeah. I didn't quite manage to nick your uh, your thorn. So you did. Spray. You did a little bit of damage. Just, just. But not enough to impede his ruffling the fur. Maybe he'll charge you and ineffectually <laughs> like slobber on you. Because that's about all he does in most of the games <laughs> right? I've played him in. And then I will He's remember... He's my hunting dog. He spots the enemy, helps me shoot them, and then licks them a lot. This time He's I very, will... He's very friendly. I will remember to use reposition, unlike the last game I played. But just one of the two heads is friendly, right? Boop. No, they're both pretty friendly. Oh, okay. They kind of argue over who gets to lick more and all that kind of stuff. That's yeah. kind of in my way. Let's do it up there. Running into some traffic problems over here. But I have done. I have. I have activated my guy. Okay. And you remembered your Thor's reposition drive, so that guy I got did. to move. Now that stays in play it does. for the whole round. Oh, right. Unless it says otherwise. So it stays I'm on the that table. Defense bonus. Yep. Okay. So, I think I'm going to try and shoot Hearn before John gets to shoot his big giant. Yeah, cannon I figured that might happen. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna I got Pathfinder, so I can move into this rubble. Mm-hmm. So I'm going and that's to, going to make you harder to hit, too, yep, right? Now I have cover. This is not good. I am within eight of you, so I don't suffer any penalties okay. to shooting at you. I am rat six. You are def 12, um, 13. I think. Let me see. Defense 12. Okay. Defense 12. I need a six. Okay. Pagani, are you watching? Where's Pagani? <laughs> I need Pagani to tell me how easy this game is so I can always roll good. <laughs> Super easy. Okay, box oh, cards. There we go. That's not we're good. Gonna, we're going to win because the dice are on my side. <laughs> no. Doug. You cannot do anything against box cards. <laughs> and you said that wrong. It's box cards. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't. <laughs> uh, Hungerford might be watching, but he doesn't have to have any more influence on this game than just observing. That was from my heart. <laughs> I, and I can't make you re-roll. You cannot re make cards. me re-roll. There is a, a core rule in the game that says your cards affect your rolls. Even though, yes, the re-roll card says re-roll a roll, it means one of yours. Right. We preserved uh, <laughs> excess text problems on the cards by putting that core rule in. Do I want to... What's your armor on, on Tiny Dwarf Man? Um, they're all. I guess they're all tiny dwarf man. I should specify the <laughs> guy is, with the uh, whirly doodad. The he's a decent uh, arm thirteen. Arm you know? thirteen. I'm a pal thirteen. Right. So dice in. And you have five hit points. Yeah, you can um, say that. I think just just for safety's sake, I'm. I don't want to play that card. That's a good card. That'll help me later. Uh, I'm going to play this additional die card oh. so that I can hopefully roll. A five or more on three dice. <laughs> okay. With those boxes, you're really not I trusting feel like your straight dice. ones. I feel like all yeah. of my luck just went Triple away. ones. No, oh, <laughs> that would have. This would have been a sad, <laughs> sad roll. Yeah. But yeah. I got you. You got me. So now um, I so, have to do my wound check. Yep. All right. So your casualty roll is a two, oh, which dead. is dead. No, I could reroll that. You could reroll it or play a recover card that would make it automatically a six. I'm gonna go ahead and reroll it. Okay. So, so discard that over here. here. All right. And then roll another two. Come on, baby. No, that's a five. Yes. So that guy's so knocked just, down. He just falls down. Yep. He's, right. But he's he has only one knocked wound. Down. But he has taken um, all of his damage except right. for one. And uh, I will figure out how to do that. While, 
And that is, the, is that the end of your... That is the end of that guy's activation. He right. walked forward, he put an arrow into uh, the spyglass, the weird wiggly spyglass you carry. <laughs> right. And it, it Somehow failed. he miraculously survived, it bounced off uh, something entirely. in his backpack maybe. It hit non-essential organs. <laughs> non-essential dwarf yeah. organs or redundant dwarf organs. All right. Um, so let's see. What am I going to do? And Riker, wanna... you are not the only one who is excited for lock and load next I year. I, yeah. I am ridiculously excited. I think I kind of want to shoot your Tharn in the face, but his defense is really high now. Right? Well, he is base defense 13. Right. So he's a 17 in cover. 17 and, is really high. And, and, and since you're new, I'll give you some, yeah, some yeah. tips and tricks. Just Don't listen remember, to him. It's a trick. I need to yes. do Hearn first. No, just remember, he hasn't done anything. I mean, he, he won't get to do anything the rest of the That's round. That's true. That's true. So he's not a threat until later, so you can save. Like, you could shoot your <laughs> I could shoot over big here. cannon over here. Yeah, that's probably better. Move. But if if he's not standing up, he doesn't count. Because I believe that that... Does that rule say anything about battle ready? Or did I not change that? Which one? On, Artillerist on, or... Yeah. Uh, scattershot? No, scattershot. Uh, must be base to base. Okay. Let's see. I don't see anything about. So technically, it still works because he's still on the table and he's okay. still base to base. Yeah, that's a good point. We are playing with War Room, which has had the adjustments to text to reflect Company of Iron as opposed to War Machine. So some abilities have been edited in the Company of Iron mode in War Room to make it clearer and easier so you don't have to remember how things change for this game. I, I do think I'm going to have Hearn stand up. Okay. And uh, that he'll still be able to shoot, right? He can do one thing because he sacrifices his movement oh. or his action. So basically, he sacrifices his action. Or, or his no, movement. he sacrifices his movement to yeah. stand up. So he, he can shoot? He can he shoot. He doesn't move? Yeah. Okay. He just can aim. Right. So he's, he's likely going to miss because I think he's at, a, he's at a, an impressive rat of, uh, let's see, I think he's six. Yeah, rat six, so okay. I need like it's ridiculous. Decent. You need an 11. An 11 no is problem. possible. It's you got possible. it. Just roll box cards. This is a little pistol. Easy game. Oh, it's an 11. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome, Doug. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Okay, what's your POW? It's a POW 10. Okay. It's a, it's a healthy so that's little pistol off. we've got here. Oh. So no damage. Bounces off your leathery skin. So you're going to play a reroll? Yeah, I'm going to reroll that. Okay. Let's, let's see some better dice. Come on, casino dice. All right, so that's three. So that's three. Okay, okay at least for that you. guy, we'll, we'll make him the guy on the end over here. And that is, that is it for Hearn. Okay, um, I still need to kill John before he shoots at me with his giant cannon. What do I do? <laughs> or, but Hearn's standing up and Hearn's almost... It's a, it's a almost, different John. And Hearn's almost dead. He doesn't, Some people he doesn't pronounce view it John, himself that way. But I think that's wrong. <laughs> I agree. Well, if Doug agrees, then that's yeah. the way it is. <laughs> it's right? John. Yeah. Hearn and John. Um, I really want to kill Hearn. I don't know why you hate Hearn so much. I can't aim at you unless. Uh oh. oh. I'm going to play high velocity rounds. Uh -oh. Uh, my arrows have special fletching. <laughs> oh no. To make them travel farther. So this card That's is. That's probably because you stole some of my stuff. Probably. I, I, maybe there's like, <laughs> like rocket bottle power. rockets on the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so choose a friendly model unit for sure. the rest of the turn, all which right. a turn lasts until I've activated all my models. Okay. Range attacks made by the chosen models gain plus two range. Okay. So that I'm going to pick the the blood pack because they're the model unit that is most of my army. <laughs> right. So that makes their bows range twelve. I don't like that at all. So that guy is going to aim, which compensates for mm. long range. So I don't get the aiming bonus. Okay. Because it cancels out that. long range. But I'm a six versus your twelve. Right. So you just need a six to hit. So I just need a six to hit, and I'm going to play another additional die card because I really need. You to not shoot a triple <laughs> AOE at Man, my arm. But don't I'm roll looking ones. Looking forward to some triple AOEs. I, I won't roll ones. Don't worry. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't do that. Don't worry. No ones, right? Come on, snake eyes or whatever triple snake eyes is. Okay, so that is a, that's enough. I need a six. All I right, we tagged him. So I have to roll again. See if he lives. So uh, these are pal thirteen, and your yeah. armor is thirteen. Yeah, armor so, is thirteen. So yeah, you make another casualty right, roll. Let's see how this goes. And you roll really bad, and he dies. Come on, here we go. No, yes. he's knocked down again. <laughs> he's knocked down. He falls down again. He falls down again. You hit him in the backpack. I put another arrow into him, and he refuses to die. <laughs> Doug, what, which which snakes in Imran would have three eyes? 
Um, tassel worms have a lot of eyes, plenty of eyes but to just, go around. But just three. A uh, wounded tassel just worm. Just three, I'm not sure about. You know, yeah, a, a, a tassel worm that's seen a lot of, a yeah. lot of warfare. Yeah, when a, a tassel of, worm gets or, or some, fight. Glimmer, some glimmer imps get at the yeah. tassel worm. Start yeah, but that's not going to roll off out. the tongue very well when you roll trip once, say, wounded tassel worm eyes. Or, no, you just say, <laughs> got a tassel. Roll a tassel. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> There so, we go. It could cover any amount of ones. Nailed it. Any amount of <laughs> yeah. ones that you have. Yeah. <laughs> if you roll dice. seven dice and they're all ones, <laughs> yeah. still a tattle. Still a tattle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did I? I it's my turn. It's now. back to you now. I yeah. Know. I am failing to kill. Yes. Uh, I get to fire full, full bore. Can you. Would you allow me to have done artillerist? No, because you, you used your action to shoot. Oh, I see. It's an action. Yeah. So I could not have used my yeah. gun. You could have chosen that. I didn't. That is sad because I didn't want those. I didn't want even higher. Okay, rat. so I don't benefit from his high rat. So he's only going to be a rat four. Because yeah. Oz plays casual games to win. I don't play casual <laughs> games to win. I'm teaching Doug. No, that was good. That was good. The truth is, he, he was scared. He's got this yeah. guy over here. He shot shot his pistol yeah. at him instead he's of returning telling, fire. telling her and what to do. All right. So, so what's so the range on that? That is twelve. Yeah. Let me make sure I'm not cheating. Actually. I thought it was 12. Yeah, it is 12. Okay. So, yeah. So, so he can aim, which does bring his rat up. And these guys, but, are they the same defense? Uh, no. The, the, the Tharn are 13. The dog is 14. And okay. they have cover. I'll shoot at the Tharn since it's one one easier. Okay. It's still going to be hard. So he's a 17. Ugh. And so you, a are, <laughs> you are losing your aiming bonus because of long range. So I am? So you're a 4. Sad. Well, but you have some cards possibly. I do. I think I'm going to play both. I can play both, right? I can boost an additional die. You can, yes, you can play as many additional dice as you want, but you can only boost one time. Right. So I will boost an additional okay. die. Okay. Try to hit you. He's gonna. He's going for those four ones. <laughs> so I need. I'm at rat four. Hashtag no tassel. You you need a thirteen. I need a thirteen to hit you. You need a thirteen. <sighs> that is really yes. good, Doug. <laughs> yes. That's really good. All right, right in the face. Okay. So, but that means I can't boost damage or anything. You can't. I've, I've used all my cards. You can't. All right. So let's see. Get, it's a pal 14. Uh, You're that, arm 14. So it's so straight, dice in. straight damage. Uh, that's a casualty roll on that guy because they only have five hit points. Yeah. And that's not my leader with more. He is oh, yeah. knocked down. He just falls down. And these guys are tough. So if he would have rolled dead, which is one you of two. You get to re-roll it. I would have got to re-roll that. Okay. And then the blast damage on the Argus. What's his armor? Uh, Argus's armor is 14. So it's seven off. Dice minus seven. No, so damage. no damage. And now the other two deviations. deviations, yes. So All right. let me let me grab that. Okay. And I'll do red for direction. Okay. All right. So so the first one is to the six five so inches. Six is this way five inches, Nothing. so that's not gonna do anything. Second one is to the five two inches. Five on, two baby. inches might do might do something. It looks like it's probably gonna be a little short. Uh, it's going to re-clip that guy. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, so, let's see. so you said armor 13? Or is it 13? Uh, no, death 13, arm 14. So arm 14. seven off again. Seven off. No damage. Exactly seven. That oh. guy. Now, if that guy would have been wounded uh -huh. by your first shot, so the blood drop instead, any damage roll or damage he would take would kill him automatically. Him. I see. So you wouldn't roll that. He, he would, would just, just die. die. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So it makes the uh, AOEs a little more, more useful. Yeah, but you can't do. target guys, but if you can get AOEs to drift onto injured guys, then they just right. die. Okay. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. That well, was pretty okay. I usually get pretty lucky on uh, Hern and John deviation. Mm. All right. Let me put a little thing out that we've activated him. Uh, I, I definitely feel like, like I'm all cramped in here. It I'm going nice to I'm gonna, move him. I'm going to be... It would be really annoying. Okay. This guy is just going to run over oh, here no. and just hide. Okay. Yeah, I will forget about him, too. Just hiding behind the hut. So you guys can still see him on the live stream because you got <laughs> angles. Right. But he's totally out of he's, Doug's he's, eye line. So. I will absolutely forget about him. I don't yeah. know what to do. I've got like a real dwarf jam up over here. Um, I guess I'll just start trying to shoot more bullets in your direction. Shoot more bullets. All right. So, so this guy still has cover because knockdown is cover in Company of Iron. Right. So and he, this guy's got cover. Everybody's got yep. cover. Well, these guys way back here don't have cover, but you don't have <laughs> the range I'll, to them. I'll do the shield wall order just in case anybody gets next to me. Okay. Uh, and then I'll take a, a shot at, I guess I'll shoot at the guy who's almost dead. It's okay. very unlikely. Can I even hit you? 
So uh, you can always hit people with box cars. Okay. You're at eight inches, so you're not suffering any penalties. But still, I'm only. But your rat of five. Rat five. And my def of seventeen is pretty. I need some. I need the box cars. Regardless. Yeah, you need box cars either way. Not like. And two twos is not box cars. It is though. not, and I have no cards to mitigate that. So that okay. is him. So can can this guy aim and shoot back at you? He can. Because my you've got the my special range rounds is, going too, right? Twelve. Yes, my my rocket assisted arrows. <laughs> right. My defense against melee attacks is not helping me much yet. It isn't helping you much yet. <laughs> Maybe should have saved that one for another so, round. So I need a six to hit you. Okay. I have a couple cards over here. Mm, I'm gonna keep those. And I got an eight, so I hit you. Yeah, you tagged him. And then your arm is. Fifteen. It's fifteen. It's, it's yeah, fifteen. Because there's nobody standing. And next to my pal's only thirteen, so, so I have to roll not snake eyes. Not snake eyes. No tassels. Come on, tassels. No tassels. <laughs> Easy game. There we uh, go. Okay. Not so snake eyes. Here's my wound check. Oh, he's, he's dead. dead. And you got nothing. No cards. cards. You used up all your cards. First. Okay. First dwarven first, casualty. First body. Now, now, like, now it's getting real. Like Pobo said, those. Dwarf hearts are real tasty, but I don't get them unless I take you out right, in melee. That's my goal is to deprive you of hearts. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I will leave all your hearts littered across that <laughs> yeah, half the board. You, no fresh and, hearts for you. And I will um, gather them up and eat them later. <laughs> sure. It's snowy They're, they're, they're going to be well preserved. Yeah, they're not they're as good. Be, they'll be chilled. They're not as good old. Like, oh, you know, I know. You want them still beating. Yeah, it. they need to be <laughs> real juicy. And Leftover warm. dwarf hearts. Yeah. yeah, they'll just yeah, we'll just go microwave them back at the... <laughs> back at back at Tharnay's Back at the tent. circle is going to use a microwave. All right. Let's hey, this dwarf's going to hope he does better than maybe, the last one. Maybe they have a, a microwave technology with Don't, ley lines. You're not, you're, you're not going to kibosh this. Is there anybody this? better I can choose? He's distracted right now. I know. He's distracted. <laughs> I'm you're, trying you're to kill, out, kill like, dudes. You're throwing out lore and like, world bits. I'm, a, I'm, like... I'm doing a little bit of anachronism. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they have like a wold microwave. What are, what are you asking about? A, some kind of if foreign microwave? If the circle microwave? has a wold microwave. Sure. It's made of sticks and rocks. It's powered yeah. by ley line makes magic. A, makes a little heat. The rocks get hot. They radiate heat. Well, I think you could just, you could cook on a wold. Like you just like, you crack some eggs on there. You have to be careful with hot rocks though. That's how you get tassels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Hot rocks is good dice. So is everybody equally impossible to hit over here? Um... These guys back here, well, yeah, they're really way out of range. Don't have don't have right. anything. I, I, I'll yes, just do the same. Everybody shot. else, they are not enjoying their fine Rulik firearms at the moment. So, so they, he misses this guy. He moved up to replace the one that's lying there dead. Oh, okay, yeah. He's standing on his buddy's <laughs> yeah, he's standing, corpse. He's he's trying to defend the body. I, of, the game of state his friend. had had looked so similar. I had <laughs> yeah, forgotten it is, that it, it I is killed identical. That guy. All right, that's that. Um, so that worked as well as the last guy, but he's hoping he doesn't get an arrow in the face. Sure. That guy is oh, come uh, on. in range. Oh, he's not in range. He's not. You have can't to move. Quite, can't quite get him, and that would lose me my aiming bonus, which cancels like a long range. Oh, you don't get the uh, the extra range if you move? No, I get the extra range. I just... you get you get If I'm still at eight, right. I have the you minus have the two. So I'd have to get within eight, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep my, my uh, long range. Their defense is only 11, though. Yeah, I know. They're, I not, know. they're not very dodgy. So they're... I would need to roll a seven layered down on defense heavy armor. eleven. Let's let's scooch let's scooch over this way. Cowardly Tharn. I thought you were gonna be all up in my face. No, no, we're gonna we got bows. <laughs> Just picking us off at a we distance. Got bows. Okay, so I can right. I can hit that guy from that range. I'm sure I can, right? He challenges you to a duel. Uh. A melee duel. <laughs> and my, my my leader says, in good time, we'll in good get time. That. Coward. Okay. So I need a seven. Okay. Seven? Yes? No, that's a, that's a four. Yeah. Okay. The so, spear... Pobos agrees with me. Worldwide's <laughs> are circle microwaves. Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm good, I'm good with... It's not exactly what he said, but think, I'm taking it I that think, way. I think any of the wolds could be could cook you some food if, if you need them to. Well, right. but the worldwides are especially fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> they light themselves on fire. Sure. Self-igniting ovens. Wait. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just Randomly saying stuff now. <laughs> right. I got Doug trapped. So, what, so, so you, do, you want to put, put a little, like the whole put a little token on that guy? So you don't... And then like after the oh, yeah, battle, you come it. collect your, your you're trying to food? Yeah, quite possibly. I dig right. it. Maybe right. the rib cage is just some sort just of holding hollow. device yeah. for for large chunks of meat. Put, All right, this guy will get to benefit from the shield wall. I don't think they have tinfoil. Come on, man. Hey, if we're anachronizing. Don't take it too far. There's no tinfoil. I'm sure has something like that. The cult of Cirrus, you know, the conversions, they have tinfoil, but nobody else does. So we have a little CRA they don't here, have to eat. <laughs> which will not help me. Or does that mean no? It will. Eleven. It will. Or twelve. So, 
CRAs are these, kind are of these like guys both at one wound. Um, this guy, remember. this guy over here, has uh, three damage. I believe. that's right. He's got two two wounds. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll see if I hit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot this guy. Okay. And for anybody out there that hasn't played Company of Iron yet, combined range attack it. is like <laughs> gang kind yeah. of. You get bonuses for your friends being in line of sight and having range and right. being within one inch of you. So now I'm so at you Powell shot 11. you shot no this guy oh you shot that guy over there yeah the guy who's who's got two wounds yes because you needed an eleven or a twelve and you rolled an eleven yes um, and he, so you're three off this dice roll yep you got this Doug Minus roll three come on no that's not that's not a three Doug woohoo. I forgot I always <laughs> succeed at casualty rolls where I roll the red die is that right yeah huh. Every time. I didn't know this. Except this I didn't time. know about this power. Oh no! Not when it goes uh, off camera. That and was rolls that a was, number that which we won't count. talk about. That should count. Yes, it rolled it's the same. It, it rolled it anyway. All right. Uh, but he's tough, so I get to re-roll that. Come on now. Because he's not knocked down. He's standing up, so he's battle ready. He's never gonna die. And it's yeah. a one again. I'm yeah. gonna roll. The, I'm gonna play this re-roll card over here. This is. And we're gonna keep this, this guy alive. Yes, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> I, I have cards left. Yeah, you do. I'm sorry you threw your entire hand. I did throw my hand away. Wow, three ones three in a row. row. Tassel, three in a row. Yeah, Hungerford's Hungerford's record right. is uh, is is going to be beaten eventually. <laughs> okay, Dead Tharn. Stephen the, asks, do druids even eat meat? We uh, know some, blood trackers some do. do. Well, so it's called the devourer worm. Right. Yeah. Do you really like devour a salad? Well, not <laughs> only that, but like like when your favorite reindeer steed falls down in the battle, druids eat the like, druids like meat. Yeah. Circle of yeah. life. You got to use all that. I think there's some some vegetarian Dunians probably sure, but yeah. Well, and, and you know if you need to, you can like gather some roots or whatever, some mm -hmm. berries, but, but mostly meat. Garnish, you, you, yeah. Or you know you squeeze a little berry juice on your meat, make it taste good over the, the fire. Devour worm says no, is what Ken Sang <laughs> says. All right, so wait. Oh, he's talking to guy. me. The yeah, devour you're, worm you're, you're is, is declaring <laughs> that guy must die. Well, that's not cool. I worship the devour worm. I'm uh, like all. All on his side. Why would he support the dwarves? That's not cool. Man, your time is not come. a whole lot I can do. I guess we'll just move up in uh, shield wall again. Can I shoot over this this little? Yeah, thing? that's that's an even though I'm a dwarf, you can, you can see over and shoot over. <laughs> it. Shoot through it. All right. You can even walk over it with your stumpy <laughs> little legs. Let me just see, but I'm yeah, I'm I'm definitely short. So yeah, hard to measure. You're like definitely that. short. I am short. <laughs> dwarf joke. Dwarf joke. All right, that's it for that guy. Um, so I've got I've got. One, two. You haven't activated your Argus yet. That's scary. I've got two. No, it's not, Doug. No, it's not. That, this is not the kind of Argus that has barks and range attacks. <laughs> all right, all right. He's just a slobber Argus. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Slobber Argus. He's really so friendly. Is he like? He a, is. He's super like, friendly. He's like a, a golden retriever or something. He, he is super friendly. He makes multiple attacks against people that okay. don't do anything. That, so obviously he's just okay. licking them. All right. So he's the Tharn version of like a Labradoodle. <laughs> Basically, yeah. The Labradoodle. He's got a little. Labradoodle. He's got a little stubby tail. He's. He's the real cute friendly, Argus. but okay. yeah, and real bright, but not actually very useful. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got two guys left. All right. You've got. I've got three. Three guys left. So I'm going to pass once. Okay. Just to, so, so there's just nobody to, in range. Yeah. Just so I don't have to put right. somebody and farther. These up guys there. are doing their little shield wall thing. Yeah. Uh, I might be able to shoot something. That's pretty close, but I don't. Yeah. Think, you I you think got range to the Argus. You, I do. Yeah. Oh, but I can't but see. With, but there's a but jack yeah, in my way. Here. Your blaster's kind of blocking. They them. can see through each other, but not. They other can things. see through each other. Yeah. Okay. But so that is this, all he does. This question is 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 built for you. Kenzie asks, uh, why are there no large base models in Company of Iron? I'd like to play cavalry. So, so cavalry would be cool. They'd ruin the game. <laughs> there, there's a certain balance to a very small game. Yeah. On a small table, and most cav that isn't crazy cav like like Xerxes on a rhino or whatever <laughs> are really fast. That's true. They cross so the tables. So if you have scenarios that involve picking up things and getting them back to your side of the table, one calf model running can almost do that in one trip. Mm. So most of the balance for why calf isn't in the game is because of speed. Okay. Heavy warjacks are just a lot of yeah. a lot of hit points. Sure. Now that doesn't mean there's never ever ever going to be any large bases. 
It just means large bases are going to be brought in by scenarios or special rules. And as Riker pointed out, you can play dismounted cavalry uh, yeah. units as far uh, from no quarter prime. That's kind of cool. So you can play the dragoons. On, yeah, uh, on the foot dismounted and dragoons are in the order of the wall. Are in. Would you uh, stay out of my little patch hey, over here? This is my this. <laughs> I have laid claim to this. It's a troll. It's clearly a troll abandoned village. troll village. <laughs> yeah, I think there was a murder that happened here. There, I, I see no bodies. I see no evidence. <laughs> all right. There's well, the trolls ate all the evidence. There's footprints in the snow. All the trolls ran away. <laughs> all right. What is your labradoodle? He over just there? walked over there and he's just hanging out. He's eyeballing you with only affection. <laughs> only affection wants to give me a slobbery yes, kiss. Yes, he wants to give you a slobbery kiss. <laughs> right. So I'm working on other rules, like like some of the large base things, like uh, weapon crews. And the Covenant of Minoth, and some of those things that Short aren't wall. a horse riding person or a yeah. heavy war beast warjack are going to get worked in more than likely soon in a no quarter prime range. in the next six months or so. Yeah. Well, actually, it's and right then, on the edge. What do you think of that? Uh, mm, Looks like I'm just short. <laughs> short jokes. Yes, you are. You are. <laughs> okay. A little he too shoots short. in your general direction. So scenario-wise, though, we're going to put in scenarios that say you have to escort this heavy warjack across the table. Or you have one cav guy who's got a mission to do, and he has to do a thing. Or like in our game, we used my heavies as, uh, as yeah. uh, objectives. And, and these two objectives could be wolds or something in this scenario as extra flavor. Right. But why would the Tharn guard <laughs> wolds unless I, they were being used as microwaves? I like the notion they, that you They stole. hadn't been empowered yet. Yeah, I like that you stole some of uh, Hern and John's ammo boxes, mm -hmm. and now you're using them to propel your, yeah. your Dukes of Hazard style arrows, yeah. dynamite arrows. If only they were dynamite arrows. <laughs> All right, it is your turn. It is my oh, turn. You'd, uh, I have one done? guy one left. Yeah, the who, only guy I've left is who Thor. Who has range twelve? Those oh. guys are in shield wall. That warjack is pretty hard to hurt. It's true, but you're firing like a ballista arrow over there. I am. It's it's so he's gonna aim and shoot that warjack. Okay, he has defense twelve. One of defense the, twelve. One of the more nimble Rulik so, things. Uh, I I'm a I'm a six because my aiming and long range cancel each other out. So right. I need a six. Okay, and that is yes. a three. So that is not anything. <laughs> Woohoo! And I played my only reroll card earlier, okay. as far as you know. So that, so that is done. that, and I am not within range of Thor's little uh, six inch spray. Yeah, but he'll Thor. he'll I guess he'll move. I want to kind of get him out over here. Although, that's just getting into trouble. He's got a pretty long we, command range. Yeah, he's... Well, Mission Specialist gives him plus three, and he's already a... a seven nine, he was at nine, so, so he's at 12 now. Yeah, so he's, so there's he's no real covering point. a lot I guess of board. I'll just kind of move him over here. Yeah. But he'll he'll kind of keep keep behind some of this uh, cover. Oh, I'm hurting and him. His, and his flamethrower will <laughs> make it more complicated. Yeah. All so right. we're done, right? We're done, that's yeah. everybody? Yes, yeah, so we take our little markers off. Yep. So uh, our cards we played go away because it's the end of the round. Okay. So my guys no longer have rocket-assisted arrows. I no longer have my defense bonus that did nothing. <laughs> it, 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 it was a threat. You were it was like, a threat. Yeah. if you come over here, I'm, I'm totally going to mess you up. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep this one card. Okay. So then we're going to roll priority. Okay. So you and roll I get my plus black one. and I'll roll a red one. You still get a plus one. Don't roll a seven. Three. I roll a one. Okay. So, so you beat me first. anyway. So you're going to go first. So you're going to fill your hand up first. So you get five, get five cards. cards. Make sure these are not sticking together. And I get four cards because I kept one of mine. Okay. Let me see if I get anything that I can immediately use. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh, that I one's like, useless. I like that one. But it's, it's still a reroll, so that's good. Oh, man. There's a couple of good ones here. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, oh, that's a good card. I don't want to use it. <laughs> I'm gonna load trauma rounds. Oh no! Here come the trauma. Okay, so that makes it easier for you to kill me because my guys suffer a minus Which one. Which is important because you guys have tough. Rolls. Cause you have, so you get re rolls, but you would still need. A, I would get re rolls, but it would still be the same thing. I, right. A one, two, or a three would kill me. Right. And that affects everybody that, uh, on your team who's shooting a gun who's in Thor's command range, which is your army right, right. now. <laughs> so, okay. Ah, oh, man, you're not lined up for a good spray anywhere, and everybody's really hard to hit right now. This is tough. 
and getting into oh, this. And this is round three, so the game is basically yeah. half over. <laughs> it's like I've barely been moving across the table here. Well, you are dwarves. So being inside this template doesn't help being, negate the, no, the cover. No, being completely inside that gives you cover, but if you are completely inside it, you get covered no matter what. Well, okay. And I don't and think I have a Hearn stand is still up. knocked down. Yeah, he is knocked down. Okay, so I'm just going to... Hey, Test Room Tony's in the chat. God, this is tough. Uh, by the way, last time I was Test Room Tony talking and people weren't realizing, so if you see, <laughs> if you see Tony's name in there, that's, that's our chat, not just some random person who's got a scully for their Facebook logo and going by Tony's name. Or is it? Or is it? Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate Hearn, have him stand up, um, and do Artillerist on John. Okay. So that's basically all he can do. Yep. So um, I'm going to play Tactical Repositioning. Uh-oh. Choose a friendly model in my commander's command range. The chosen model can immediately make a full advance. So it doesn't activate the model, it just lets it move. I see. And that card doesn't stay in play because it doesn't do anything after that. Okay. So my dog... It's going to move. Uh-oh. It's going to move forward. Ooh. Here he comes. But Doppler licking. <laughs> Here comes so um, the, the labradoodle. The, the reason he did that uh -huh. He's got some cool power or something. he has Mark Target. Mark Target says, other friendly faction models gain plus two to range attack rolls against enemy models within five of him. Because you're just spraying so, slobber all over the place. He's howling, <laughs> he's howling. to, to okay. announce your presence. There's some dudes over here. So that means I that cancels out the long range penalty right. itself. So I'm still... And that was not uh, his action. And that was not his action. That was just that one so card that got can, to move him. Now you can move up to your handy so little wall. my leader's going to come up behind this wall. And shoot. And try and... Sh oh, Hearn is still in range. But he's already done his thing. So he's going to shoot John. at John. Makes and sense. I'm going to... Hmm. Once a game, when I have priority, I can choose a different model slash unit to be my commander's prey without destroying or removing from play the current prey. So he's going to switch his prey How from often can you do it? Once. Once, 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 per once per game. Once per okay. game. But normal, when you kill something, it goes somewhere you else. can move prey. Right. But this allows me to change it once. So I'm okay. going to change my prey to, him. to Hern and John. Okay. And that's my once a game thing. Sure. And prey gives me plus two to attack and damage rolls against that. And target. you have priority this round? And what? And you have priority. And I, I, I have priority. The priority is also when you're doing things. So when you have priority means when it's your turn to move a model. Okay. So I have priority now. I, I, I did that thing. And right. now I am praying against him. Okay. So I'm canceling out long range with this. Right. And then getting another plus two against that. So my rat is eight. Ouch. And your def is 12. I believe so. 12. You only need a four. I only need a four. <laughs> But you've seen me roll three before. <laughs> Come on. Now roll. I can play cards, but I, I don't want to do Gotta that. Got to beat Hungerford's record. Hey, oh, there we go. That that's is a, a, that's a, that's that a, is a solid hit. So I got gotcha. you. Uh, and you're going to be doing like pal 15. Pal 13 turns to 15. Ugh. He's arm 15, right? But yeah. he's got eight hit points. Wait. Is that right? Yeah, he is. So I'm going to play this boost that would give my guys tough. I don't like this at all. They already have tough. Okay. So, hey, Oz, Riker asks, how would the Blood Weaver uh, Blood Burst ability work when damaging a model and after casualty roll? So, injured, which is bleeding, mm -hmm. counts as destroyed for anything that generates extra attacks or movement, not for things that make people explode or collect souls or right. whatever. So running gun, yes. Burst, no. Yes. So if you, if you kill the model, if it rolls incapacitated, which is one or two, then any, it gets destroyed like normal, anything triggers. But if it's not destroyed, it only counts as destroyed for moving and for attacking. So Berserk still triggers, but things that collect souls and stuff don't. Right. So we're going to hope to roll <laughs> an eight or more on these dice. Sure. Because I'm doing straight damage. Okay. And then you're going to die before you get to shoot your cannon again, right? That's not going to happen. Yeah? No. Yeah? It's not happening. Just throw this for me, Doug. <laughs> Come on. John is not going So down. that is enough to take out him in one hit. Okay. Here's and then injury roll. he rolled a three, which is injured. Now, he also has tough because he's an ogren, but he c can't use tough if he rolled uh, injured. So you can play a card 
if you have a green card in your I hand. I do. You can play a card to make him only knock down. I'm going to do that. Okay. So you play a recover. Yeah. And he is, that's automatically a six instead, and he's only knocked so down. So he is knocked down instead of injured. But he has no hit points. Right. One hit point. Yeah, now. we marked that off. And then my leader has activated. Okay. And now Doug Ooh. makes him stand up and Rex faces. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. let's do that. So that don't mean I can't aim, basically. You can't right? aim, but you're still getting plus two because Hearn said artillerist to you earlier. Yes, he did. So that'll kind of cancel it out. Mm -hmm. um, you're still defense ridiculous over there. Though. I am still hiding behind a little rock wall. Danny loaned us some extra scenery. Now, this scenario, and this guy's also still, he's defense he's 18. He's still completely in that cover, so he's defense 18. Ugh. We took off the great big giant longhouse for this scenario that we played with last week because this scenario needs a little bit more movement. So we brought <laughs> in some other snowy stuff and then made some other snow. So stuff. I'm going to need an 11 to hit him, is that correct? You're going to need, well, so you're at long range, which is minus two, and you're but I got which is plus two. Right, so, so it you're a out. four. Oh, and I, I am a 17. Oh, so I need a 13. So you need a 13 to hit me. <sighs> I really want to really want to shoot you though. You you should. It's the goal. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play both boost and additional dice. Okay, so you're, you're rolling four dice and hoping for a 13. Yeah. Don't you don't have to roll it. You can miss. <laughs> you get all ones. Give hundred okay, for a run. I got you. That's uh, not all ones, Doug. Yes, that is not all one. So I, so I, I, I hit you. Okay. So you're pal 14 on this, right? Pal 14. So that's straight damage, but that's my leader. So he has five extra hit points. He has 10 hit oh, points. Oh, and he hasn't Roll. hurt yet, has and he? All has, the boxcars. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so eight. that's an eight. So he takes eight damage. Okay. Which is not. So it's hurt bad. But then we get to roll and then a there's couple some, deviation yeah, and then there's, Well, we first oh, we blast. roll blast on the other guy, which okay. is seven off. Seven off on the blast. Oh, look at that. Oh, Look at that come beautiful on, roll. Doug. <laughs> it's Hearn and John. I've always had good luck with Hearn and John. So eight on the best commander. Best artillery in rule. So that guy had one hit point. <laughs> yes. So he's making he's a casualty up. roll. He is knocked down, so he can't use his tough reroll. And and I and I have trauma rounds. And you have going. trauma rounds, so I am knocked down on a six, and I am dead on a one, two, or three. Okay. That is a three. Yes. Do I have a reroll that I want to use? <laughs> I have this danger close reroll, which oh. lets my guys ignore AoEs from my attacks. Really? I don't have any AoEs. <laughs> so I'm going to play that reroll because I need to keep some guys alive. And that's a one. So he's even dead. deader than he was before. <laughs> Very dead, blowed up. Okay. And so now okay, we get some deviating explosions. We see where that goes. So that was on this guy. Okay. I'll do red for direction. Okay. So that's a three. One. So it's going to clip him again. Clip him. So you get to roll again and seven off. Seven off. Yes. That is the two hit that points he I had needed. left. Thank you <laughs> yeah. very much. Anybody cheering? Come on. Anybody cheering for Doug? Hearn and Jones. So he is standing, so he does get his tough reroll. Oh. That is a four that is injured. Okay. So, so he is injured but not dead. So if the trauma rounds don't affect him. Oh, so the but blast. there's another explosion coming. Yeah, so there's if your explosion other coming. explosion deviates one <laughs> yeah. inch, he automatically dies. Don't Let's roll do a it. one, Doug. Okay, so red is direction again. Red is direction again. Oh, oh so you rolled a one, I but you rolled the it. wrong one. So five inches is going to go It blows up on here. that pillar. It's going to hit that pillar and shake some hit, snow off. It's going to hit some Trollkin uh, heritage over yeah. there. Actually, I think that's circle heritage. Those rooms look more like Oh, wait, I get to re-roll a deviation. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You do? <laughs> Let's do it. So you can reroll either the distance or the direction, and you just need to roll the distance and get a one. Okay. Let's do that. Sure. <laughs> that oh, is not a one. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. That would have been sweet. My commander survived. He has survived. He's bleeding on the ground over there. Oh, and I can't Riker shoot him. cheering for you. <laughs> I'm glad, Riker. Thank you very much. He's like, go, go, Thorn. I can't target him, right? Because I think he's dead. Yeah, you think he's dead, so you can't target him anymore. Okay, until he pops up. But if I walk right over to him and you can get another AoE on another guy. That would be cool. Which I'm going to do. <laughs> this guy's going to go base to base with him so that he gets a plus one okay. to his next casualty roll. But he has already activated, so that probably won't happen because you'll probably shoot him dead <laughs> long before that. That wall is a real pain, though. You're really hard to hit over there. I know. It's awesome. Yeah. I did not put that wall there. Tony did. It's Tony's <laughs> fault. It's a nice, it's a nice wall Tony to, gave me, to hide behind. Tony gave me a wall. Um, all those guys are in cover. I mean, are in shield wall. Yes, these guys are shield wall. So my arrows might not hurt them that much. It's still PAL 13. I mean, it is. And you are arm, arm 19. Arm 19. So 
you'll you on average. You I would need seven, which is pretty average. Yeah. And I've been wasting all my shots in her and John and have not been killing them. <laughs> yep. So They're he's very gonna, tough. He's gonna shoot at the high shield leader right there. In but the front. you will notice I'm very far from my objectives. You are. I'm I'm holding you off. But yeah, the yeah. but the more of my guys die, that's true. The more you can just run toward the objective. Right. And okay. I can I can run past barriers, right? You can run past barriers, can't you can't charge. charge over them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm getting plus two. Okay. And this is not long Where's range. This guy though. I know that guy's over there. <laughs> Shh, don't you're supposed to forget about I that. I did. Right I almost did. Um, so I'm getting uh, a plus four to this. Okay. So you're an eleven, and I'm effectively a ten. So I just need to not roll snake eyes. Come on. Hey, we didn't roll snake. All eyes. right, that was a nice. And roll. now I need a better. I need that roll to do <laughs> damage because I'm a thirteen. You're a nineteen. I need a seven. Yeah, seven. It's I can totally roll seven, right? <laughs> I like how scared you are of sevens. But there's a seven. There's a seven. Okay, so, so I have that to guy roll. makes a casualty roll. All right. And so he, he is, is injured. He is injured. I've got one. Yep. Was it this guy or this it guy? It was the guy in the front. Okay. The closer guy. He is injured and bleeding. Okay. Now, so does it, that mean that this guy is not shield walled? Uh, it does mean that guy's not shield walled because okay. shield wall requires a battle ready. Okay. Um, but this guy could activate and he would get a plus one to his casualty roll because a friend is base to base with him. Oh, I see. And that's a plus one total, not a cumulative plus one. Okay, man, this is tough, tough choices. Wow, Rikers is really cheering for me. <laughs> He's filling the entire chat with things about Tharn being awesome. <laughs> well, I appreciate I, I it. I have to admit, I like Tharn a lot, but these yeah. particular ones need to go down. I was it's really no offense to the Tharn people. In I was general. really happy when a full blood pack and a moonhound fit into <laughs> twenty five points because I think it's really thematically cool to have some Tharn hunters and their dog. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad news. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna we're gonna spray in your face. So you are gonna clip my leader, which is gonna automatically kill him. Cool. So oh, that's just an auto kill? Yeah, any any damage he would nice. take. I did that totally on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you still have to hit him. I do? Yes, you still have to hit him. Okay. Because he is he's outside of half an inch and I range see. attacks only hit injured models within half an inch. Interesting. So but you're rolling three dice. Right. What, and, and the cover doesn't matter. And the cover still matters because he's still behind that thing, but, but it's the a cover spray. doesn't matter against sprays. Right. So I'm only so a 13. Here. Okay. And you're a 6? Rat 6. So you need a 7. Need a 7. Got it. Okay. So th th this guy automatically dies? Yes. That's my leader, so i got to pick a new I one feel as soon as we as see what's happening. That is victory. That is pretty good, Doug. <laughs> I can't use my prey anymore. But now you got to run after okay, so those Now objectives. this guy's defense higher, though. He's that defense. guy's defense is 17. Defense 17. Okay. So, so you still in, you, I need you a, needed an eleven. An eleven. Got it. Oh wait, no, he's not defense seventeen because because you're ignoring cover. Right. He's still thirteen. So you got me. Okay. Critical. Uh, you have nothing <laughs> on your criticals. No, but you know they were thinking about it. All right, and damage. Oh my god. Damage a lot, and that guy only <laughs> yeah. had one okay. box left anyway. So casually roll. I'd feel good if this this guy wasn't. Is right that on here. camera? That's not on camera. What did you get? Uh, I rolled into the weird little <laughs> oh, tray. Oh come on. Okay, you're at minus one. Oh, that is a four. So you're wounded? Which is a wounded. Okay. Because of my trauma rounds. Because of your trauma rounds. I love rounds. the trauma rounds. That's my favorite card so far. <sighs> it's my turn. <laughs> well, that felt pretty good. Oh, wait, I get to reposition. I'm going to do that. Yeah, don't forget your reposition. So my commander is going to be this blonde thorn behind this rock back here. Okay. It doesn't really matter a lot anymore because they're so spread out. So I don't have a Beast Warden anymore because my, my leader was automatically a Beast Warden because every leader at the start of the game is a Beast Warden, so I don't okay. have one anymore. So now that dog is just a slobber monster. <laughs> right. It doesn't I'm sure it he doesn't can still have, bite things. He, he could theoretically still bite things, but he really needs help from his Beast Warden to do that. Right. Well, let me mark that I believe this guy. So this guy, this guy, he wants to shoot Thor. He's gonna walk up here. Oh. Oh God! Out from behind the hut. Out from behind the hut, <laughs> and take a shot at your That's leader. Not cool. Sneaky, sneaky shot at your leader. Is Thor defense thirteen or twelve? Um, Thor is defense twelve. Okay, so I, need I think if it, if it's built with wood, stone, 
and has a still attached to it. I don't think it's a hut anymore. It's I not think that's exactly just a, a thatch roofed By Rulick construction standards, it's a hut. Mm. <laughs> this yes. is this some sloppy that is, so they're, sloppy they're troll species is against <laughs> trolls. Yeah. <laughs> well, they just I wouldn't say that they they have a sense of superiority. <laughs> So they're, Hence, speciesist. <laughs> but it's general racism, not like directed specifically I, I, at Trollkin. Just non non dwarves. They wow. think all, I've, <laughs> they think nobody can build anything yeah. with dwarves. Yeah. Now the truth is, Trollkin are actually really good with stone, but it's okay. simple. It's it's so rustic. I need, I need all it a, needs to do is make hooch. It's I need, artisanal. I need to roll a six. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna roll this without boosting it. Ugh. It's gonna roll a six. Okay. It did. It rolled an eight. So okay. you, you tagged me in the face. So I hit you. Okay. So you're you're also at ten hit points. Yeah, and he's got armor fourteen. So armor it's fourteen. Minus so one. it's minus one. I'm gonna boost with focus Ugh, fire, don't which like this. would be better to play against you later in the game. But you I've already played. I've out. already played one ga- card this round, and I'm losing models, so I don't want to hold on to that card. Sure. So this is minus one. Okay. If I get an eleven, right? I do all your damage. Yep. Good roll. You got it. That is a 12, so you got to make a casualty roll. Oh, man. I was really hoping you'd botch that one. I had a re-roll in my hand, so I was... <laughs> I was. Okay, so he's injured. So I have a re-roll, but injured is not dead. Injured is not dead. I think I injured is just maybe dead. <laughs> I'm going to accept it. Mostly Because you dead. also can't target him. I cannot target him anymore. All right. And you can save that re-roll, re-roll for when you really yeah, need to hit yeah. somebody. Okay, I've got one model left. You've got a bunch of models left. Right. Charge! <laughs> oh, uh, actually, I have two models left. My dog. Yeah, your dog has. My dog gone. just walked up. His, he his just ineffectual over. dog. He's gonna. He's gonna slobber on somebody real <laughs> his, bad. His slobber doodle. Yeah. Oh man. He's got the jowls for it and right. everything. Yeah. Like the the sure. dog from Turner and Hooch. Yeah. He's very yeah. Turner and Hooch. Yeah. He's so he's Hooch and Hooch. Right. He's double Hooch. <laughs> Not that kind of Hooch. Different right. kind of Hooch. Doug needs to go get some of them objectives. I know. I was just thinking about that. The problem is, even with running, I'm not in 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 uh, well, close short enough. little stubby. There little are legs. some cards that do give your guys extra speed, right? Because basically, the cards. I do, do think I need to get some guys over there. The course, cards do what many feeds do in a regular game of War Machine. Um, and some of them do what other things do, like Spyglass and stuff. What are the the defense on the Tharn? Is it thirteen? Uh, thirteen. Yeah, they're kind of base tough. thirteen. Arm fourteen. Can any of you guys move up close enough to get to that injured dude and stab him? No, no. Even if even, even if with the ran, charge, yeah, I've only got a seven inch charge. You couldn't get there. Mm. Yeah. So, shoot, man, this is tough. Okay, I think I'm gonna have this guy. Riker says that Doug's right. It's a hut because Doug, Doug's the master <laughs> of all lore. <laughs> well, so and I will admit that I've been calling it a hut is a little rude. It, it is. It's. We could at least call it a, like think, a like a like a beer hut. I think dwarves are that rude though. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. You think dwarves are rude? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have this guy come over. He's just going to walk over. Oh, he's going to hop the barrels. And, and he's going and to hit me. do shield wall just in case. Yeah. And then he's going to hit you with an axe. He's going to try and hit me with an axe. Yeah, he's probably, he's not so good at this. He's better helping out with his buddies. But we got a mat five, so I need a eight. You need an eight. Okay. That is not. Uh, it. It's an eight. I, there was a glare. I thought that was a four <laughs> it, for a it, second. It's an eight. Okay. Uh, but it's it's all of uh, pound nine. Pound nine. So that is minus five. Minus five. Because I'm a 14. That is, uh, that's pretty good. Duck. So three damage. So three damage, but that doesn't kill him. But he, he did get a little, get, took a piece of you. He did. He knocked some of my accoutrements off, at least. Some of my <laughs> yeah. teeth and bones. <laughs> right. And dog tags, whatever those little circle stones are they wear. I'm going to call them dog tags. Can I gone. adjust his positioning slightly? Sure, whatever. Just to make room if I want to get somebody else yeah. in there. He had, he had space. He had four inches. He could yeah. have got a little bit further. Okay. Okay, this guy Uh-oh. or the dog. I think the dog is going to, uh, if nothing else, engage a bunch of your models. Yeah, sure. So that they that have sense. to deal with him. Yeah. Um, and he's going to give you nothing but love. <laughs> or he's going to kill these two because dice <laughs> might get amazing. Well, they, so he's they gonna, do have a weakness to dogs. He's, he, they, lo- they, really, they hate they, huts. They, they love, love dogs. Love Labradoodles in particular. Okay, so I am only Matt five. Okay, because I'm a support dog, not a combat <laughs> right. dog. But you're twelves. Yep. We determined this earlier. That's right. So I need sevens. I need those miraculous average sevens. <laughs> totally possible. Okay. 
Who are you so biting? I'm uh, a biting Hearn first. Okay. Because he's the smaller one. Okay. He's sure. more of a, a Scooby snack. You're jumping on him playfully. That is the oh. boxcars. Oh. Ouch. Where were you the rest of the game, boxcars? <laughs> okay, so um, and my bite is POW 11. So I, it, it, Snake Eyes is the only thing that he will oh, survive. Oh, Snake Eyes? Really? Because he has armor I, I could roll better than Snake Eyes, I'm sure. Let's see. If What's he this? Can. That's a, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. I rolled a one, and the other die was well, the come number. On, baby. That, Flew out of the tray. Let's see it. Two. Oh, it stayed a two. Okay. That is enough. Okay, so, so make I a casualty roll and die. Roll. Die in a horrible, horrible way. You I am did. dead. I could re-roll. You could re-roll, but... I might need the re-roll for but, something else. I mean, that's up to you. Hearn's very important. But you could also let me kill the second model this game that I have killed. <laughs> Don't let Hearn die. But this, this is one of Thor's cousins. Oh. Over here. <laughs> well, he has a giant arrow sticking out of his face. Uh, I'm going to say Hearn is down. Okay. So Hearn's dead. All right. So he will take his second slobber. This oh, is, right. This might, be the, this might be the first time this dog has ever taken another model out <laughs> Is action. that right? Yeah. Oh, I've man. played him quite a few games at Nova. He, and you mostly use him for market target. Tactics. Yeah, he's, he's the hunting dog. He runs yeah. out there. He howls. Barks. He turns off stealth if he has to. Right. I like it when I get that card that lets him move out of activation. Yeah, that's a good one. So um, this is a 5 versus a 12, so I need a 7 again. And that you is miss. a 3, but I'm going to re-roll it oh, because, come on. <laughs> because this is important. These, these, these dog kisses are very important. He's got slobber all over his armor. Land. That's oh, box cars. Oh, man, again. two box cars. Okay, okay. so uh, he's a 15, so I'm yes. 3 off, Okay. but he has no hit points because I've already yes. taken him yeah, down he, once. He, so all I have to do is roll a 4. And I rolled a three, of course, last time. <laughs> Come on. That is a six. Oh, just barely. So you All right. Uh, Here now we go. he's he's got tough. Does he? And he's not injured already or anything, so he can re-roll if he gets dead. And that's injured, so he can't re-roll. Okay. So you can't re-roll on an injury. You can only re-roll incapacitated. I've got a lot of blood on the field now, over here. If I had another attack, like if my beast warden was still alive, I could have given him uh, I believe Crush, which gives him a third attack. Oh, okay. I could finish you off in one hit. Because so in, in melee, yeah. you can finish yeah. people off. Well, you can finish somebody off with a gun, too, but you have to be within a half an inch of okay. them. Okay. And then it auto-hits and it auto-kills them. And the conceit there is you're seeing that they're still moving. Or yeah, you're, you walk up and he's barely breathing, and so you... you it's you it's basically a wrong. double tap. Right, yeah. <laughs> a little double tap. Yeah. A double tap with an Argus. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> Bo says that in, uh, in their RPG group, they have a joke with dwarf buildings. The book's mentioning that even the sidewalks of dwarf cities surpass the greatest human cathedrals, and That's one right. morrow ascendants... And one of Morrow's ascendants uh, ascended when he finished a cathedral. That's true. So then that should mean that every time a dwarf ends a sidewalk somewhere, it just shines and rises to heaven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't, but to I don't divinity. think that dwarves the problem, rise the, to heaven. Well, the problem is the great fathers have higher standards than that. Like if you were yeah. if you were if you were Morrow if you were Morrow and maybe. But yeah. the Great Fathers are like, eh, it's just a sidewalk. If he could make a moving sidewalk, oh yeah, that would be nice. Then then he would be instantly <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would godlike. Be All right, so uh, you you did your turn. Is my I, turn? I've got one model left. You've got three. It looks like these two dwarves and that dwarf and and Thor. Oh, and Thor. His I got all kinds of models left. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, that other dwarf has a gun. Yeah, the bleeding one. So uh, I would not pick a bleeding guy first. Right. Because there's no reason to roll and just watch him die. Sadly, and I can't shoot at him. And I like it, but I can't shoot at him unless you cannot I shoot at him unless you go with half an inch. Okay, so I think I think I'm you, gonna have you can shoot at him because shooting into melee still gives me a plus four defense, but doesn't let you accidentally hit your friends. Right. Well, I might so as well melee over there. So I think I'm actually gonna have one of these okay. guys come over, shield wall with this guy and melee. Okay. He hops over the fence yep. as well. And uh, so now he gets a plus one. Now he's a six he's a versus six. my 13. He's a seven. So we need a seven. And that is an eight. So that hits. Um, and it is pow nine. So Which you, is, uh, wait, it's, wasn't it? Oh, pow it, ten. It's pow ten now. You're right. So you are four off now. Four off. Okay. So I, I um, did three. So I think you have to do And he check. only had two left. Yes. So he's making a casualty roll. That is a five. He's only knocked down. But it's a minus one because of trauma rounds. Oh, but this is oh, that's only on range. Wait, is, is that bullets. only ranged attacks? Yep, it's bullets. Son of a. That's okay. why they're called trauma rounds. That makes sense. That makes sense. So he he knocked you down, but it didn't kill you. Yeah. Okay. Man, and I can't attack across this thing with melee. Uh, not with a half inch melee because it's can, too wide. Can I can I shoot you on the ground? 
since you're not <laughs> wounded? You can, but I get cover if you're not within half an inch of me. Oh, so what would your defense be, actually? It would be 17. Ooh. So you're actually, yeah. that, that's that's one of the things with Company of Iron is like, like when you're knocked yes. down, you're not easy to hit yeah. at range. Because we're, we're this is this is a snowstorm. Right. It's difficult snow to see storm. what's going on right now. Right, right. You're, and it makes sense. You're, you're actually, you'd be hard for him to even see you. Yeah. All right. Um, There's some beer barrels in the way. So I got one model left yes. to activate. I did not mark my dog earlier. Okay. I think I can remember he's activated, but... <laughs> um, He's so going to do something. Ten of a guy. So that guy's not shield walled right now. He is not. He's so vulnerable. Walk out on this precarious ice. Oh, cool. Even if we were declaring that as rough terrain, my guys have Pathfinder. Right. So I'm within eight inches of you, so I okay. don't have any long range penalties, and I got to roll Ooh. a six to hit you. Oh wait, no, you're I'm, I'm you're defense eleven. 11. <laughs> yeah. So I got to roll a five to hit you. And that's a six. You got it. I hit you, and then you're not in shield wall because you're by yourself. If you get snake so eyes, so anything but snake eyes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. so here we go. Let's see. See if that guy see can also, also be bleeding. Oh, he's only knocked down. He's knocked down. These, are, these dwarves are tough, man. They're not, they're not going easy. But that does kind of change what I was going to do with him. I was going to I was going to kind of run him toward an objective, and now I can't. Well, if you had a shake card, which you got a card. I do not. Well, I have one card. Oh, you it have one not card, a, it but it's not, not a shake. shake. No. So if you had a shake, you could do that. Ah, uh, man. And Alec, this is the only time that Dog has had any teeth in his love. So I can give up an action to move, but I can't run. You can give up your combat or your move to stand up, but you can't run okay. if you have to give up your combat action. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to activate him because you've moved all your guys. I'm so done. It's just me now. I only have four models. Okay, so he's going to just move over to join his his buddies. Okay. But he can't do anything because he had to stand up. But he can shield wall because shield yeah. wall is free. So he'll shield wall. He'll get a little trio He's over Watching here. their backs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then... You got one more guy who's not bleeding. But he is engaged by my dog. So I'm going to activate the guy that's next to this okay. guy. Okay. Um, so you, so I can you try first, to not... You first roll a casualty roll. It's and a I plus, get a plus one. Because okay. he's got a friend touching him. And he's knocked down. So cool. he starts his activation knocked down so he can... Sacrifice movement or combat action to stand back sacrifice up. Sacrifice combat action. Oh, just to stand up? Just so stand he can't up. go anywhere. No, he can. He can sacrifice move or combat action. So oh, if you want to move. sacrifice combat action to move. To waddle yeah. four inches forward. Actually, let's let's move him over. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to reach. That's away from the objective, Doug. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But and the only guy between you and this objective is bleeding. I know, but at the same time, I have other bleeding people that need help. But so he's going to help this guy out. Okay. Yeah, but you also have to win the game. Well, he doesn't have to win right the game. Right now, yeah, they're they're focused on survival. He right doesn't now. have to win the game. <laughs> yeah. He can just he can just. Uh, these are rule folk. They, they, they care best. about each other, man. He tried his best. So what? They're going to go back to rule with like a participation trophy? <laughs> sure. Well, look, these guys didn't even want to have this mess happen. You stole their gear. Yeah. But this guy, this guy is going to. Oh, except he's engaged. Yeah, he's engaged. So he can't go anywhere. I was thinking I was. Gonna he can. He can take over. a free strike from my dog. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, I guess he'll just uh, he'll he'll hit you with his axe. He'll try anyway. But you're are you defense fourteen or something? I am defense fourteen. Yeah. And you're in, and there's no friends engaged with me, so you're just could, a now, five. Could I move over like this, and be in base to base with yeah. John? Yeah, but it, it's only a plus one from ever. this guy. Yeah, you only need one guy in base to base to get the plus one. You okay. don't get more than one. So person. a little bit of shuffling over, so I get to a, a mat of six. So I need a no. Eight. It's Why? not a mat. It's, it's only a mat of six if this guy's also engaging me. Oh, I see. You have okay. to have so that doesn't do anything. No, you have to have other friends. I'll stay there engaging. anyway, just for the shield shield guard. Okay. Or shield um, wall. Okay. So, uh, so need a nine. I still need a nine to hit you. That is box cards. All right. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. So you are uh, POW 9. POW 9. And I Hungerford am... said at the beginning of the game, Doug just gets to narrate <laughs> I, the game. I do, I do tend to be lucky on, on die rolls. Okay, so you're a 9. I'm a 14, so you're minus 5. Minus we five. need to get uh, JR to <laughs> assign That's you. A, did you see that? Other box cards. <laughs> so, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> what we need is we need yeah. JR to assign Doug to come with us to LVO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. apparently so, we need to take Doug to Vegas. <laughs> 5... Five off at twelve is seven. Yeah, so to seven the to the two. But he he had barely been hurt before. He took like a little bit of explosive damage, I think. Yeah, so you would hit him a little bit, but he's still pretty functional, I think. Yeah, he's got two spirit, most of his mind, and two body. Oh, so man. he's so he doesn't even have got, a branch down. He's got all of his 
That's that's rough. Okay, yeah. that could have been better, but but you know, I, I that I'll was accept, that was that could not cutters. actually have <laughs> been. Well, have I mean, been, the branch roll could have been. Y- yes, the location could have taken something out, <laughs> but you know, that you did roll good. box cars on the <laughs> yeah, other. That dice. was pretty good. That was better than a, a little dwarven axe. So would now do we get do. to watch uh, Thor bleed out? Thor, we can see if he lives. Ugh. All right, come on, Thor. You do have a reroll I still. Do. Oh, he's dead. Unless let's, you reroll it. Let's reroll it. Okay, come on. The red die hasn't been liking me as much. Oh, he's still he's dead. He's dead. Thor is dead. So you got to pick a new commander now. Okay. Also, um, any cards attached to your commander go away when he dies. So that was off your commander's command range. So it's gone. Not that it matters because oh, the I round see. is also ending. Okay. So he is dead. Um, and I guess I will appoint... Can I make the warjack the you commander? You can't make the warjack the commander. <laughs> All right. I'll I, make... you, I think you technically can by the rules. <laughs> I'm going to make uh, this bald guy over here is the senior, the senior cousin. Oh, okay. Of the Steinhammers. So, so you don't have another Jack Marshall either, so this guy can't do his boosting okay. thing anymore because he oh, cannot that, be in the command range of his Jack Marshall. That is sad. Okay, and I think that... Um, That's it. That is everybody. That's everybody. Yeah. So we are on to round four. And now I no longer um, get my plus one on holding, the Holding, and you, yeah, your, your commander upgrade goes away when your commander dies. Okay. And you do Hearn, get a new commander, Hearn. but not another upgrade. John is still bleeding out. Hearn is dead. This is just not looking good overall. It's looking fine we, on my we side can't of the table. Get Doug. Near these damn boxes. We have we have we have thinned your Tharn a bit though. Mm-hmm. You have. You've definitely taken out my Tharn. But um, I still I still count a tie as a victory. Yeah. If you I know. kill all my models and you haven't this, destroyed This the is objectives. a tough objective for short guys, mm-hmm. I have to say. So um, we're rolling priority. Okay. Because I have no cards, you have no cards, so we're not right. discarding anything. I roll a three. You roll the you one. You go first. Okay. So, and Travis was asking if any of us knew anything about PAX Unplugged for next year, and not yet. Yeah, it's so far away. It's so far. We are making uh, Adepticon, LVO, Gen Con type plans, but and, PAX Unplugged is way and out lock and load plans. And lock and load, of course. You should have JR on the stream in your position just to talk the entire time about con things. Man, I really just needed to. Fill to. The, we, could, we could just well, make have, quiet. Well, I, I have a Primecast coming out this week where he does just that. Mm-hmm. I really needed to go first because I know you're gonna you're gonna kill my ogre. Yeah, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> just, so just leave him alone, man. So I'm gonna activate my dog. Come on, my dog uh, activates automatically kills John. And with I, a melee I attack. can't do anything. You about can't that? do anything about that. Nothing Any, at all. Anytime he would take damage okay. or a damage roll, he's automatically that killed. That is sad. So I so sad. So I give him one final lick and he's gone. <laughs> one That's, final lick. He goes out happy though because he does like the labradoodles. Yeah. You and know, then, as far um, as it goes, getting killed. That, that was, and then he's going to bite his friend. <laughs> All right. Who's in? He is. He is in, in the, shield ball. Yeah, shield ball. I'm uh, five versus eleven. Okay. You miss. That is a miss. That's a ten. I like it. Okay. Uh, so I'm so sad. You also haven't gone for the flag the entire time, which would be well, giving you one more card every that's round. That's true. But now there's only one more round to go. <laughs> yeah. So you've got. Basically, two more activations, which might mean Doug can't win. Yeah, it, it looks unlikely that I can win. So but, I'm just going to try to kill yeah, as many Tharn yeah. as Let's I can. Let's just see if you can, if you can <laughs> get a tie. It's a secondary objective. All right, let me see what I got here. I've got to have something useful. Go. Killing Tharn to steal your arrows back. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, we used up all those rocket arrows. They're all gone. Oh, they're go- oh. Yeah. well then, revenge for stealing okay, them in the I'm first gonna place. I'm going to play rapid reload on this guy. On my little little jack, or I could do it on a unit. Huh? Oz looks deep in concentration. Like I'm he's reading, reading Ed's list. I'm reading Ed's list. Yeah. yeah. So Ed posted a, a a list that he was asking Oz about. That's 25 points, hand size for 11 models. Uh, the commander is the Night Witch with Mission Specialist. We've got some Warpborn Skinwalkers, uh, and minimum some unit, and with yeah. the uh, Alpha CA Tharn Bloodweavers. Yeah. So correct me, like I used to be able to just move up and I could have that happen, but now I'd have to actually give up. You'd action. have to give up and because a- because Thor is dead. Yes, you and right. your mission specialist thing was was only once a game. I so, see. well, anyway, I'll move over there just in case it comes up. Sure. Uh, the flag does not block line of sight or anything, so you can go. And then I'm gonna right there. spray. You him. should spray into those dwarves over there <laughs> no. to get that guy no. by the brewery. That is not happening. Yeah, that that's an interesting list, Ed, because it has. Bodies, because a lot of times you like my army is a little small. I might get out activated in certain scenarios, especially if if Doug was defending and I was attacking. I have to come into his guns 
and he'd have a lot more shots at me. So that's sometimes a problem. Right. So if you have 11 models, that's pretty good. And then the Skinwalkers are pretty beefy, so you got models that can stand up. And the Blood Witch is, or the Night Witch is kind of terrifying. Right. Because uh, she can she can do a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try to. I, I think I need a seven to hit you, or are you defense thirteen. You you need a seven to hit me. I'm okay. thirteen, and I'm no longer boosted, so I'm. That's a three. But I did get rapid reload, so I get to shoot again. Wait, rapid reload only works when you aim. Oh. Now, could you have I stood could have. back here yes. and aimed? Okay. Yeah. So let's then just don't move him. Let's just do that. Sure. So he shoots again, and that is a six. So that's a miss. That is also a miss. Both shots just miss. He's he's really feeling his lack of his uh, Jack Marshall there. That, hmm. that is all he can do, and he can't re reposition anymore either. So I'm going to activate the guy over here by the hut. Okay. Because he was knocked down, and you'd auto hit him if he's knocked down. No, that would have been good. He's going to stand up, and he's going to punch a dwarf. <laughs> Maybe get a heart. <laughs> oh, no. They've been trying to tasty, safeguard their hearts. Tasty heart. Well, they're wearing, like, There's complete a breastplate. chest coverings. <laughs> yeah, this is a good trick if you can do it. Uh, Hearn and John have exposed heart areas, but I couldn't get a Tharn over there. <laughs> Should have used. I should have used. So other I am cards. Matt seven because I'm a Tharn and Tharn like punching things. Yeah, they do. So I only need a four to hit you with this Tharn. Yeah. And that's a five, so I hit you. Okay. And I am Pow eleven, I think. Yeah, Pow this eleven. Is, is this just your fist? No, it's the spikes on my oh, he's bow. Got little spikes. Yeah. Oh, on the bow. So you're 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 smashing him with the bow and they're yeah. trying to take his heart. All right. Let's see what you got. All these cards would have been really good at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Chris I should have used a, I should have used one of my cards last time. Chris asked what a good twenty five point setup for Kator might look like. And the only one I've built so far that I really like is uh, full unit of assault commandos with the flamethrower attachment. Yeah. And the Cossite Woodsman. So the suggestion I usually make when people are asking about army lists is pick something you thematically like. Yeah, like, like Sofia Skarova. Like something like that. Like yeah. one of the armies, the very first armies I built before, without even thinking about it was, I like grotesques. I don't play Legion, but I like grotesques. So if you take the Assassin and two minimum units of grotesques, it's 20 points, 19 points, 20, something like that. If you bump either the Banshees or the Raiders up to a full unit, it hits like 24. So without even trying, like... I like grotesques. That's an army, and and you have a Kador list that's man of war. And I well, Doug and I played a yeah. a, a practice game yesterday, yeah. which was full bombardiers with full mechanics and the command attachment for the mechanics. So it had a lot of bodies. Yeah, and it Didn't worked out pretty well. had a lot of bodies well. that could do stuff. No, but it worked out pretty well because it basically like each man of war had a mechanic. Yeah, you could like hang out with yeah. them, and fix them up. And it was, I, it was tough. I have a man of war army that I'll be adding to when man of war CID starts next year, yeah. early next year. Um, and so that army will get more interesting. But I like the notion of an Iron Fang uh, list. But yeah, Iron Fangs with the, the new, yeah. with the Black Fang, yeah. Black Fang Iron Fangs with the command attachment and the solo, it's probably really close to 20 or 25 it's points. It's really close. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so what if you're, mm, you, you, you're, you're smashing I'm gonna play this. Here. I'm going to play this Pathfinder card to okay. boost because I don't need Pathfinder. Okay. Because I have Pathfinder. You are Pathfinder. So I'm an 11 versus a 19. Yep. So if your opponent so likes you need a you, Skarova with the full unit of Black Dragons and nine. the officer in standard, Got it. it's 26 points. Oh, so you have to... So one of the things we encourage, and I encourage especially, is Company of Iron's a casual game. So if there is some weirdness, like if you want to try running a Berserker in your Kator list, mm -hmm. talk to your opponent, get their permission, because everything is legal when your opponent agrees. So if you want to play a, a super awesome Black Dragon list at 26 points then talk to your opponent about it. Maybe the, your opponent takes an extra point, or maybe you play with one less hand size, or whatever you guys decide amongst yourselves. Or maybe you're like playing a specific scenario, and so it doesn't matter what the points are. Right. Yeah, It's a little more casual, a little more fun. And the, the player with the smaller army points-wise always gets to draw an extra card at the beginning of the round and then discard a card. I see. So if you're playing 25 points versus 26 points, you get that benefit. Oh, okay. So was this the guy that you were uh, punching? Uh, it in the is face? the guy I was punching. So he he is he is injured now. He's only injured. Yes. Okay. So that means presumably his his heart is still in there. His heart's barely <laughs> still in there. Now if You're I trying had, to work through the breastplate. If I had a heart, I could spend it to make an attack immediately, which would kill, kill that kill guy and then give me his heart also. <laughs> but I don't have the one heart to start that chain reaction. Right. 
All right. Chris so, says thanks. I don't know what Chris is thanking somebody for. For going through all those lists. Oh, okay. That was okay. Yeah. I, I missed the name at the beginning of that that series of of lists. Okay. So uh, just as general advice. Yeah. <laughs> would it would it make sense for me to activate this wounded guy to just see if I can get him going before um, you can kill him? So I've got this model here. Yeah. Which could walk over there and punch that guy, but that's kind of a waste because. There's other stuff. He, he has a chance of not being able to do anything when he activates. He has a, a pretty good chance of being dead or still bleeding. Right. So I probably won't waste an activation on killing that guy when there are other targets. Okay. So I would save that guy for later, kind of just to okay. bait me to see if I want to finish him off. Now, do you think, I guess I should still go for this scenario, even though it's impossible? Well, at this point, your best chance is to get a draw by killing my army. Okay. All right. Then I, then I will not do that. Um, I guess I'm going to activate this guy then and shoot him. Okay. So, so he gets to get he the doesn't, bonus. He doesn't get any bonuses because his friends are not looking at me. I see. Well, they're busy. They're, yeah. you know, they're occupied. Yeah. But, um, but he could still get like shield wall benefit with this guy. He is, yeah. He's still touching. Okay. And he's aiming, and he's not long range, so he's, he goes up to a 7. So he's at a 7. You're at a, so a, 13, a 6 to hit you. A six, which is easy to roll on two dice. It usually is. Especially when you roll box cars. Really <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna, I am going to let it go, but I know... Occasionally the dice turn. Oh, there was a six on time. one die. I think you, <laughs> right. I think you so, got it under control. So I managed to shoot you. So you pow 10. I'm going to... Um, I'm on 14. Is, so he, is this guy unwounded? That guy is unwounded because yeah. he just came forward from That's the back. Right. He was in the back. So I'm going to boost it. Okay. And this is pow 10. So did you say armor 14? Armor 14. Yeah. So if you roll Minus a four. 9. If you roll a 9, I have to take a casual roll. That is... Not enough. Not a 9. So minus 4 is 3 damage to that guy? Yep. Hurt him a little bit, not quite enough. So he is. I should have wrapped reload on those guys. Feeling some pain. All right, and that is that fellow. Good shot, though. Uh, so that guy's already activated, so I'm not going to shoot him. Your warjack's already activated. You're going to try your wounded dude. I can't get. I can't get this guy over here to help him. Yeah. And you I could, have. right? He he can't. Well, he could run, but then I wouldn't get a shot or anything. Like I him. see. And I'd rather. I'd rather do something offensive yeah. with this guy. So he's going to completely abandon. The, the joke's on you. These boxes aren't even the Tharns boxes. They don't care about these boxes. <laughs> no, they don't. This was an ambush to eat some dwarves. They were trying to lure us to, be, to our murder. So he's going to shoot at that guy okay. who's not engaged okay. and is not at long range. So I need a five to hit you. All right. And that is enough. You got enough. it. But you are in shield wall. Yep. So armor so 19. I'm POW 13. I'm a 6 off. Okay. Let's play some dice. Play a, a boost. To play a card. So I need a 7. And I can't keep the dice <laughs> in the tray, Tony. <laughs> this is what the tray's for. I need extra wall. There's a wall in the tray, but I need more walls. More walls, yeah. There we go. Okay, okay so, so that is a casualty roll enough. on that guy. Okay. But he's survived already once before. He's he's <laughs> so injured. So he is just injured. Yep. And that was um, I'm sorry. Who that was you? the back guy that okay. was not engaged. This guy. Okay. And I've got one model left that's bleeding. I know, but he's really far away. He is really far. There's away. A, a, a dog over here, slobbery dog. That dog loves you. Doug. I think I want to try to deal with this. Um, so I'm going to activate this guy, and axe you. Um, oh, so wait now. If I brought this guy back up, I would actually get the CMA. You would. And if that guy, if that guy's result is knocked down, he sacrifices his move to stand up. He can still help. And can hit you with a, hit me with a CMA right away. Okay, so I'm gonna actually, I'll do the the injured guy. Let's see if okay. we can get him up. So roll a one or a two, Doug. <laughs> actually, you have to roll a one now to be dead because you're touching a friend. Okay. That's a three. So that means he's fine. So uh, a three becomes a four, and a, th a four is still injured, so he's still bleeding. Okay, so I'm going to spend the, the recover card. Okay, so you'll make it a six automatically. So he's so knocked down. He was down. knocked down, but he's able to sacrifice he, his movement to, to stand, stand up. up, and then he can hit me with yes. a plus one to the attack and damage roll. Because of his buddy. So that makes you a six, yes. and I'm a 13. So I need a seven. So you need a seven. Oh. That's a three. Well, he's still recovering, you know. Yeah. He's having a hard time. He's a little woozy. He's a little woozy. Okay, so my guy back here, loss. my guy back here is, I'm going to pass. Okay. Because you have that guy and that guy. 
So I can pass one time before I watch this guy bleed to death. <laughs> All right. Let's try this guy then. Let's see if we can. Okay, he's getting the plus one again. Yes. So ah. Snake Eyes. Oh, uh, finally, Doug Roll Snake I Eyes. I do not have a reroll. I'm waiting for that all game. <laughs> Sadly, I do not have the reroll. Okay, so that's that. That is this little trio of dwarves. I was really hoping I could finish off that thorn. So I have to activate my guy. Yeah. He is bleeding. He's still bleeding. I guess I can discard this. This doesn't matter anymore. Um, since it's late in the game, I'm going to play a reroll card on that. Okay. Just and try to he's get him more back. than likely going to die. <laughs> yeah, please. He did. Yeah, excellent. But I have another reroll. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, ones and twos. There oh, we go. Oh, so he's just knocked so down. So I rolled every result I could possibly <laughs> roll. So he's knocked down. Oh, still alive. And his range is 10. Okay. He cannot stand up and shoot that guy. Well, that guy's just anyway. out of range. He can't stand up and shoot this guy as easily because I can't aim. You could shoot this He'll guy. He'll shoot that guy. Okay. So he's going to stand up. He's yep. going to sacrifice his movement. He's going to shoot this guy. Okay. This guy's an 11. Yep. But I, at long range, am a 4. Okay. So I need a 7. Okay. 7 to so hit. So back to averages. Yep. And that is a 4. So I miss. Spear lands in the ground near mm -hmm. him. I'm done. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't have a lot left, but I've got these two guys. Um, so let's uh, let's do the, the wounded guy first. So okay. we'll see if we can get him to stand up. And he's still bleeding. He's still bleeding, but he is not dead. And I can't do anything about that. Okay. So he, Oh wait, no, that becomes a five because he's got a front touching him. Oh so he is knocked down. So he is he is okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so um how to do math there for a second. <laughs> I guess there's no point in Well, he's not engaged, is he? He is not engaged. Okay, so he will um, He could walk up to give his friend the bonus, but he can't make a melee attack because he's knocked down unless you have a shake card. Oh, he could walk over to give the bonus. Yeah. Uh, that's probably better than shooting right now because your guy's defense is really high because you both have cover. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to just have him give up his action, but he'll walk over. And shield and, wall and, again. And yeah. shield wall and engage. Okay. Um, I'm done. So then I get to just go again. And then you get to swing with the other guy. So this guy and tries... your last model. Right. He tries to hit you with his axe. Um, so, so now I'm a 14 a, and you're a, a 6. Yeah. So you oh, need, I need an eight. 8. Even with this, even with the CMA. Yep. I got it, though. You got it. Okay, and, and it's pal 9. It's pal 10. Pow 10, sorry. So it's five off. Five I mean, four off. off, sorry. Oh. So two more damage. Two to my the, dog is to the one. My dog is surviving. Yeah, the, the, he's tough. Well, he's the war beast, I guess. Two the war beast. More beast. to the one. That does not take out any of his Damn. aspects either. And then, I should have I should have played my additional die. And then thinking. the round is over. Okay. Yeah, I was not considering my cards. I'm gonna keep this one card. You gonna discard anything? So this um, is the fifth round. This is where you have to finish me off to get a tie. Okay. And I'm not going to run away from it. <laughs> I'm the Tharn. That would be cheesy. The yeah. Tharn don't run away. <laughs> no, there, you still hearts. You haven't hearts eaten on any the hearts table. yet. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I I haven't gotten heart. any hearts. No fresh hearts. And I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here so, we go. Let's do so it. So roll priority. I got a four. You got a four. We got a roll. Roll, roll again. Roll low. Roll. I got a six. Oh, you win. Okay. That, was, that was close. I All got right. first. Damn it. I got a card, so I get four more. But I guess nobody's wounded. So how many cards do you get? Uh, I need three. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Let's see what you got. Oh man, you gave me some some horrible cards. They're only horrible situationally, Doug. <laughs> I know. Oh, Let's that's see. a good card. And so this guy is now my commander, and his command range is probably not so great. Command eight, that's not too bad actually. Okay. So What's the... I'm going to assault, finally. <laughs> here it comes. This guy uh, over here is just going to keep distracting this pile of dwarves. <laughs> yes. I think it's the beer that's really distracting them the most. <laughs> so how does something like assault work that's done on a model-by-model -model basis? Yeah. Kay. It works exactly like War Machine, except okay. that since everybody's acting like a solo... Right. Because it's a new round, you need to remove your... Tokens, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Doug's do got I, I forgot to grab my dog token. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. We get to hear Tony every <laughs> once in a while. Okay, so that guy assaulted. Yeah. I completely so, forgot he was here. Man, I have... Actually, you know, these cards are not as bad as I thought at first. But it would have been nice to be able to play one before you went. You can't do that. <laughs> so, I shoot you first. Okay. You are deaf 11. Yep. 
and I am a six. So I missed. Excellent. So that was ar arrow bounces off his helmet. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why that? he wears it. I want to reroll that. Okay. He's, he's not like that scrub at the beginning of like every war movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Takes off his helmet. They're like, put your cover on. <laughs> put your cover on. So I got you oh. with a reroll. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Pal 13, you're in shield wall. Yep. So six off. So six off. That's so, a six. Okay. Do I want to reroll that too? Yeah, do it. Let's burn all your cards. No. <laughs> well, you know, I don't have any. See, if I, if I can force you to, make, to be injured with the shot, I can punch you and automatically kill you with my... Melee attack. So we will. We'll play this. All my guys can stand up because that's probably not going to help me later. <laughs> oh, that was, yeah, that was, all he needs is a seven. And there's a, there's a ten. So make a casualty roll for that guy. All right. You could just die. I'll let that happen. <laughs> nope. He did. Oh, he's he did just die. You're going to play a card? dying. I can't. I don't have anything that would help. Oh, oh wait. I, I, I could do a reroll. You could. Now, you might want to save it for later because... There's other stuff going on. Uh, you, you, have, you have a lot of killing to do, Doug. I do have a lot of killing to do. I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Oh, one, 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 one die. Yeah. Still nope. dead. Still dead. So I don't get my melee attack anymore because there's nobody engaged with so me. Does that mean you guys heart? I did not. Mm, what's this rule say? You, you didn't melee attack. I think he only, I only gained hearts. And that was Yeah, with a melee attack... If I destroy you, so I killed you with the arrow. So it was so the arrow. I don't get the heart. Good. I've denied you dwarven hearts again. <sighs> so terrible. So <laughs> terrible. Well, this is what happens when you use dwarven weapons against them. <laughs> That's you don't, right. You don't get the hearts. No hearts for you. All because right. overkill. That's um, a that's a nice dog butt shot. Now I, I forget with like a with like a, the a spray attack into melee. Does that matter? It does not matter. Okay. So, so you can angle to spray both I'm, those I'm guys. Gonna, I'm going to do that. Your spray is an eight. So yeah, you're you're well within range to catch those guys and not hurt your Oh guy. wait, let me play a thing real quick. Play a thing. Although I don't do think it. it's anything do that helps thing. with this. <laughs> I'm gonna just do. I guess I'll just do do list training. Okay, so now your defense is higher if guys. you're if you're within your commander's command range. Command range, yeah. And so what's this, this guy's, guy's command range? Eight. Eight. So this okay. guy's probably out. So it hits everybody except for that guy. With yeah. It. Um, all right. So anyway, we'll spray through here. Okay. And I don't have so any of my you're, boosts. So you're getting a back strike. Oh, that's cool. On both those guys. Excellent. Barely. So that's plus two. Okay. So, so you're at a six eight. to an eight. Yep. I'm a 13 on the Tharn. Okay. So I need a five. Yep. Oh, I missed. Oh, you missed. Son of a. Things are going my way. Are turning. On the dog, I got him. I mean, on the dog, you hit him. Okay. And then you pow 10. Pow 10. So it's four off on the dog. Okay. And I do have. No, I don't. How, how badly hurt is that dog? He has, according to War Room, he has seven hit points left. He did scatter a lot amongst, of my guys. Scattered amongst all of his various. I'm, I'm going to do an additional die on it. Okay. So minus four. four. Off. That is a lot, Doug. <laughs> yes. All right. That is. So uh, let's have you do your roll. Or do no, the I don't. Beast don't. Beast right? and Jacks don't make casualty rolls. So yeah, that's more than okay. seven. So, so we so avenge her and John. Sad. <laughs> A sad dog that only ever loves anybody. <laughs> he, he now loved, he's dead. He loved Bye, Slobber John Doodle. a little too much. Yep. A little too much. All right. And that Slobber's the one head and Doodle's the other one. Yeah. I, do, I do like that the Jack is getting some good action. In I thought it was just Hooch and Hooch. Marshall, so well, it depends. He wasn't near the beer. I think he's only Hooch when he gets drunk. Oh, okay. Or if you put Turner in your army. Or if I put Turner in my army. Ike Turner? Tina Turner? <laughs> Tina Turner. Which Turner? You got They're Tharn. They totally look like Tina Turner from Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my turn. These Tharn um, are nasty. What am I going to do, Doug? What I, am I going to do? I think you're going to kill somebody. I'm going to try. This guy's going to activate. Sure. He's going to punch a guy. Okay. If I can get hearts, I can punch both these guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just got to punch them. And they're okay, uh, but now my defense is up. all of 13. Uh-huh. I'm a 7, <laughs> so I need a 6. Th that card means a little That's less. That's a 5. Oh, yeah. That's a five, and I don't have a reroll in Duelist my hand. Duelist training. So that guy, <laughs> that guy's activation yeah, is baby. done. Duelist training. Riker says, no, slobber and doodle. <laughs> their, their clan has gotten into many feuds and duels Thank, over thank you, Rikers. I, I appreciate the, uh, <laughs> the sentiment. Uh, okay. I like this little fierce. Okay, I got one, I got one model house. left. 
I think they're inspired by the beer house. I think they are. They Do might it. have been sipping a bit of that. <laughs> yeah. They were yeah. hiding on the other side they of were that on the, barrel. There's some barrels over here. I, well, think that, I think that's the one area that where the where the where the dwarves aren't yeah. speciesist. They're like, wait, they make they, beer. they make beer. Yeah. I think they're more concerned about this uh -huh. than these. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so. Obviously, their tactics have shown that they <laughs> right. they're holding the fort. If the enemy's all dead, we can drink beer and then we can go <laughs> exactly. to the boxes. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can... Uh... No, the storm is about to intensify. So this guy hasn't activated yet, Hence right? Hence the drinking. Hence the drinking. Uh, this guy has not gone yet. He's my last model. Okay, I'm going to charge And he is my guy. leader. Uh, your angle's weird. Is it? Your angle's real weird. I think I, I think... can squeak in there, maybe. Mm. No? No? Mm. Should have moved my jack a little more. <laughs> no, I think you can get within half an inch, barely. Okay. Well, I think you're being kind, but I will Here. take it. Will, Will, since I got <laughs> chastised once for not using a widget, I think Aggie chastised me a game, or somebody did. Okay. Maybe it was Sarah. Yeah, I'm just barely in there. Yep. Either, either one of them just in axe range for antagonizing you. Yes. Now I I don't get backstrike because I started over here. No, you still you oh, don't do? get backstrike because you're not completely in my back arc. Oh, okay. But in Mark Three, okay. Doug Doug's the lore guy. I, he doesn't know I, all I, the. Mark I don't know rules. a lot of rules. Yeah, you know, I learn them as I go. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so I'm, I'm sure a 13, a you're a 5. Yeah, I missed. So you missed. Good try. But did you're I engaging get, I me engage now. You. So what do I want to do with this last guy? I probably want to eat a dwarven heart. That's <laughs> yeah, not there's a guy one. right in front of you. Well, no, it's this guy. Oh, oh, so right, it's that guy. This guy is going to turn on the guy that came He's up on him. He's going to back up over here sure. and try to eat your heart because that would be a victory yeah, that would be. in the Tharn they, book. So you're not in shield wall anymore. That's true. So I hit you, because yep. I just barely have to roll a 4 to hit you. Armor and 15. then your arm's 15, my pal's 11, so I'm 4 off. Yep. 5 or higher. Oh. And I rolled snake eyes. Yes. And I already determined earlier, I don't have a re-roll. Beautiful. So off the shield. Was, off the shield. That was exciting. <laughs> <sighs> this is good. Could have been off the rifle, for all I know. <laughs> off the rifle. All right, so let's see if we can, uh, we can chop up this guy over here. Okay. So this guy's going to activate, swing at you. Um, we determined I need an 8, even with the CMA. So you are right? 6 versus 13, so you need a 7. A 7, okay. If Got I it. had duelist training, which <laughs> yes. I, did, I didn't even think about playing a card last uh -huh. time. It is. Sometimes you forget. Mm. That wouldn't have None of these would have mattered. Okay, okay. so I hit... Um, so I'm you are POW 10, pow so 10. you're 4 off. 4 off. But this guy has not been oh. injured, and no. he stays uninjured. Ham Good job, Doug. Thank you for rolling... Off. Kind of crappy. <laughs> you get to keep going, I though. I get to keep going. Second guy, same thing. Yep. Misses. Misses. Son of a... And then you got one more guy. One more dwarf. Who's standing over there. He could aim and shoot <laughs> that guy, or he could come at I me. I think he will. No, he's better off um, he, He's better off shooting. Okay. So, so that, he's a seven when he aims, yeah. and he's a six. Okay. He hit so me. He shoots. Pow, Pow ten. ten. Minus four. God. Oh, no all damage. of a sudden, my damage dice are turning, no and I don't have anything that can help you with that. No rerolls. Nope. So that is the end of the game. That's it. That was round five's oh. end. That was all of our models. That looks like a victory I, for me. I think. I win. <laughs> I think I won. No. I because uh, <laughs> of the scenario. The game ends at the end of the fifth round when both objective markers are destroyed, or when the attacker no longer has models in play. If playing farm, the attacker if you wins. Do not achieve any hard tokens during the game. That is, that's a, that's a sub, <laughs> victory. sub victory. So I win if I have models on the table. We'll call that and a, at least one objective. We'll marker. call that a technical. No, win. no, that is a that is a glorious victory for the Tharn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because the dwarves. And then they just call it off, and everybody just has a drink. Yeah, well, and then just, and then we we we, we Christmas it a little bit, and we have <laughs> yeah. some beer. So we have some. So beer. that it's a was, happy Christmas game. That was another game of Company of Iron. Yeah, that was great. We do a game every Tuesday, at. Uh, 10 o'clock Pacific time. So for you guys on the East Coast, it's quite a bit earlier than that. We also do Dallas painting on Thursdays. Dallas or one of our other painters on Get Your Paint On, which is Thursdays. Thursdays at 10 a.m. Yeah. Pacific So we do a Tuesday and a Thursday right. every week of a live stream. Uh, next week we'll play a game. Uh, we're going to take a break around Christmas. Correct. Probably yeah. Christmas and New Year's weeks. We won't yes. be in the office uh, a lot, so we're going to take those two weeks off. But... We will be uh, back and in your face playing games, showing you how to paint stuff, and being yeah. here to answer your questions. I think I want to play Circle next, maybe. Mm hmm. You got a lot of other Circle models to choose from. I do, from. I do. But no, that was fun. And thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks, everybody. It was great. You just, you just need, you need speed.
Yeah, so, well, for this scenario in particular, yeah. like crossing that's, the table would be that's pretty hard. The most interesting thing about that is you build the army.